it, you know what Tiger's going through? We mm. we all go through it, but we don't realize it. Did we yeah. say he fired him, right? He, he fired him. Okay, yeah. Steve Williams got fired. Not, well, this is an understanding, because Steve Williams was, uh. was uh, really surprised. Like, what? Where's this fucking oh, coming he was, from? He was Australian surprised, too. He was just like, this yeah. is, I, I stuck with And he, Wait, he kind of snitched a little bit. But just to get all the oh, info out he. there, uh, Steve Williams was working with Adam Scott, another player on the tour. He got permission. Who's pretty damn good? He did get permission. Got permission. I would assume Steve Williams thought, you know, I'm I'm gonna do this so I I, I keep sharp because caddies have to keep sharp as well. They got to be walking these courses to keep their minds, you know, uh, sharp, whatever. But go ahead. But nobody was gonna say that Tiger. You could just here's a here it is. Tiger has n absolutely no self awareness and mm. no self blame ever. Right. They, this is what happens in life. You you ever get those times where you go. You know what? I think I'm gonna kill myself, just because I'm my my I'm in such a funk that I don't even feel like fighting the funk I'm in. But you have to admit that you're in a funk, and then sometimes uh -huh. you walk around and you pretend that you're yourself, but you're not yourself. <laughs> Your swag is off. You know, I'm walking here. You know, you say hi to a to a, a little fat security guard girl. That you think, you know, you just go, let me upgrade my <laughs> let me upgrade my swag a little bit by, by helping some some little fat girl out. Hi, uh -huh. fat girl, how are you? And she just goes, Pfft. and you go, oh, shit. Oh, I was I'm doing that for of, you. This fat girl right? just said, fuck you. I'm a piece you of go, shit. You go, your swag is off. Don't force it. Tyler yeah. is, his swag is at the ultimate low. Right. But he won't blame himself. And he's trying to pretend to be Tiger. He's running from tournaments. This he's scared. He's not. He's not hurt. He he's is scared. scared. What do you yeah. need an ACL for to play golf? And I'm sure you. <laughs> I'm sure this golfers that go. Oh, you go. But 47 year old men are playing golf. They they hurt all the time. The the, the back, the thing, the whatever. They're winning. An old man won the won the won the British Open. Old uh, out of shape guy. Look, 60. He was 45. Oh, uh, Darren Clark. He's he's a mess. Because he's a big booze hand. Yeah, oh. Scottish mess. Uh, Irish, Northern Ireland. An Irish mess. And likes to smoke on the golf course. And he, yeah, and he yeah. won. That's, yeah, a, that's how you can win at golf. That was a big victory for him. Tiger can't be in. There's nothing he can do to be in that bad of shape. But what he's doing is he's he's trying to alleviate everybody else thinking that they're the problem. But right. Tiger's swag, he, it's a self-imposed rotting because he 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 feel he, it's not that he feels bad for cheating on his wife he feels bad for his image being soiled oh, yeah. all tarnished he was the golden boy that, he but, can't why, get past but that. then why get rid of the cat because he was a part of the old days oh he's a part of in some way see they're trying to say that the guy uh st stood up to him and say hey man you got to you have to uh, show yourself to you. You have to build back up my confidence in you. You disappointed me and my family. I don't believe that 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 Aussie dude said that or New Zealand guy. They don't. They're men's men. Like yeah, yeah. They're dudes. He was a soldier. Yeah. He looked the other way. He knew exactly yeah, what Tiger was. He's a, du he's oh, a yeah. dude. I don't even think he told Tiger. I think that was the the what he did for the news. But I think in 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 uh, in, in close, he's like, "Hey, Ty, you got caught messing." And he's probably had a confidant. But t but Tiger got bad. Somebody he's listening to is giving him bad advice. It can't be, you know. And his pop is there, so you, you know, I had a lot of respect for his pop. Yeah, but yeah. He's he has to say, "Wait a minute, he, you cannot force your swagger to come back. Right. You have to ride it out like." Any other wave or any other, I think it, your swag is like your, like nature. Sometimes nature's, you know, we going through this heat wave. Uh -huh. I think you go through the waves of your own spirit. I think we're attached to nature, and I think you cannot fight when you're whack. Mm -hmm. When you're whack, you when you're feeling good, you when you're feeling good, you're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. this is this <laughs> shit. You just know it. You point. You let you you do every everything goes right. Right. When it goes wrong, man, don't fight it. The, the just game, don't just, fight it. Just let it what? Let it ride, let it ride out go, till you feeling. Let it run its course of badness. Like I call I'll call a girl a bitch in a minute. Uh -huh. Okay, a strange girl a bitch in a minute. Sure. Hey, bitch. But if my swag is off, that goes horribly wrong. Hmm. Her brothers come out. <laughs> you know, the mother comes out, you know, right, right. Guns come out. You got to know when because I'll be pretending to still be the guy that says, hey, bitch. But I'll be like, 
Hey, bitch. Uh, that didn't bitch. Come out. That didn't come out right. <laughs> and you don't even remember how to be you. You're pretending yeah. to be you. You also got to throw into this that there's uh, steroid rumors with Tiger. Now you got the rage? So maybe uh, maybe he's kind of going away so he can cycle out and all that shit. So faking some injuries. Uh, there's, a, there's some rumors out there. It could be, but he's so big. But he... The game it's is mental. It's mental, man. I do follow uh, golf pretty closely. Okay. The game is passing him by quickly at this point. Well, they got this other little Quick. white boy that they're yeah. praying ends up being good. McElroy? But he's not that good, though. Who, McElroy? Yeah. He's good. But he, he's, he's not good. Tiger. He's just a kid. He's not a prodigy. He's no Tiger in his prime. He's yeah, good, man. not a prodigy. McElroy is good. He's good. They're all only good. Like, what is he, yeah, they're 21, all good. 22? Jesus. They're all good, but they want a Tiger. There's a whole bunch of young, good players now. They do need a Tiger. They need a Tiger. But I don't, I don't know if they're hoping McElroy could be a tiger. He can't be. That's for sure. I'll tell you why, because he's white. It, it, mm, tiger's tiger because mm. of all the, the 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 weird mixture, the the fact that no other, not only is he the greatest golfer of all time, but, you know, was pushing up there, mm -hmm. but he also was, he's an alien to the sport. You now, know. Now he's, I don't, I don't know if I pulled a Whitney Cummins. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. I> shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's synonymous with fame. Yeah, you, that's what you say. Are you are you are you are you coming yet? That is amazing. Are you Whitney? It's an amazing climb to fame. Do you know from, Whitney Lewis? From I, nothing. I don't know. I just uh, I've seen her on television. Oh yeah, who hasn't? Yeah, really. Two shows. <laughs> she, oh, yeah. Geez. You know, it just makes you uh, really yeah. happy about yeah. the whole. Thing. And it, it's 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 unbelievable. <laughs> It's it's amazing. I mean, it, you can't it, look. People can act like if they in this business, but I'm gonna tell you what's un unprecedented. She is the creator and showrunner on two shows on two major networks. That's fact, right there. Not one, and then another one yeah. on fucking Bravo. Yeah, yeah. Two big timers. How does that happen? It's, the boss. How does that happen? It's unbelievable. It's uh, it's it, it's it's a uh, time. It's the women's time. Is it the women's this time? This is the women's Lois, decade. We, oh, we've lost. I don't know. You know how it happened? She's, uh, you know, is somebody. I forget which comic said to me. I was doing the bitch in a moment. She's hot. Well, That's, you know, not you, know, I uh, will you give got that. it. I know, but she to them, right? To and outside she, and, of and, us. And, and this is not a rumor. I, I think I watched. Uh, I was watching Conan because uh, uh, what's his name was on there, the uh, big kid J uh, Hill Jonah. Uh, oh, yeah, Jonah. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, talking yeah. about that movie. Yeah. I was curious about that that flick, and she's on it. She was on plugging, and she is uh, dating somebody, some big timer at Fox. Oh, so she's hitting the trifecta, man. Holy shit! Her big, you she know, got wow. a big. She got a, She said, "My boyfriend is your boss." <laughs> so she's dating a big time over there. So all she got to do is get ABC somehow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Some, something on ABC. That's fucking amazing, man. She'll be on the View. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> the entertainment correspondent. It's just, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I had look. Here's the weird thing: is is that you know, in, in, in we have a very small world of, of comics, and and I don't know her, and then all of a sudden, she's on uh, last comic standing, you know, next to Kindler and uh, and Greg. And I'm sitting there wait, going, wait, wait, wait. Here's how convoluted. The, the shit is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not her. What? That's another one that fucking bothers people. No. What? That he you talking about Natasha Gennario. No, that was not Whitney Cummings. That, that is was not that. Whitney Cummings. So where did Whitney Cummings come from at all? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's a. It's a. It's a. Natasha Leggero is oh, a. Is, wow. Whitney, is in in Cummings world. She's the one that wears the long white gloves when she does her comedy. Oh, she's she's hot. from the last comic stand. I can't believe she took that from me. Yeah, you used to wear the long. I, white you'll gloves. wear the long white gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do rectal exams. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you serious? Yeah, Anthony, you got to stop being in the middle of these pictures you're taking. Problem? Yeah, there you go. They want Jill in the middle. No, no let me tell Jill you something. No more Jill in the middle. I'm Here's the problem. How about no more pictures? I've had it. Here's I get the it. problem. I'll tell They're you what the lost. problem is. I'll tell you what the goddamn problem is. And this is the, the God's honest truth. We go up ringside. Last night we went to uh, Roseland. They had a Thai fighting thing there. Pretty intense. Those Mo little Moi. guys are insane. A little Muay Thai. Yeah, a little Muay Thai uh, fighting. 
And here's the problem. We want a picture taken. And every time we go to have our goddamn picture taken, someone sneaks in and goes, I want one with you, too. But you I want just one picture. Me and Jill, leave move, us alone. Move. Leave us alone. Why do you move need another picture? You next guys got... to you. Don't have. What? You're always in the middle. Move, move that. They whoever. just move in and the picture snaps. Because everyone. There's no. It's ridiculous. Everyone needs their. Yes. <laughs> it needs their picture with Anthony. Dude, if you don't think that's the truth, we tried. I don't know how many different occasions to get just a picture of us last night. Six. And possibly more than that, Jim. You're crazy. By the way, you know how many on pictures the streets, there are of you two. You don't need any more pictures. You've been, we need plenty of on pictures. The on the streets, than... people are asking, is this true? All at, Yes. Is this true? And I'm telling them it's true. It is true. Different locations. We want pictures. Of, didn't you see our garden party pictures? Uh, yeah, how could we not? Uh, you know, stop. They were wonderful. They're at a big castle. You're, you're shoving these pictures down our throat. No, we, we, we're we not. We understand you're in love. It's, it's, Look, it's, it's a wonderful. big castle. Yeah, it's wonderful. Charles and Diana weren't photographed this much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Jimmy. This is creepy. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Every day, <laughs> Stunt Brain goes, well, Jill sent more pictures. I'm like, how many pictures do we need of them? Look, here's me and Jill at Blockbuster. Here's me and Jill in line at the airport. Here's <laughs> Jill and I on the plane in the cockpit on the pilot. All right. All right. <laughs> Get it. You're lovely, both of you. Everyone loves you. He's he, Look, he's trying to prove to the world that this is real. We're here to say it's no. real. No more pictures. Yeah, we They're get it. On, shut get down Anthelini.com. We don't no, need to see No, they more go pictures. up there, and there is all of our different places that we go. All you do is go to functions. You like look at us in, in yeah, cowboy yeah, attire. Yeah. Have you both said the L word, dude? He said after three days. Uh, three yeah. days. Has she it's said about the L four word? Four hours. Yeah. You're really? not a. You're not uh, a me too, are you? What? You're not me too. I got, I'm, I'm no. one of those. No, Patrice. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm one of those. Yeah. Cool. Did you really say it after four hours? No. Okay. How, how long was Completely it? Completely really? silly. Really. You're 25 days into this Antolini thing. When World did you say? Wind. When did you say I love? The L word came out. Uh, day what? You said one, it first. Day one drunken evening, that uh, we day were. Day what though? No, I, I. A weekend? You said I, it first. I don't remember. No, no, no. It was. Um, she said it first. Please, please reenact yeah. it, please. I'm trying to remember the did, exact did she say, circumstance. Did I think I love you? I think I'm falling in love with you. No. Was it something goofy like that, or? No, I'm trying to remember. This is probably a su not probably yeah. There was a, a subtle whisper in in the ear. First of all, you let don't me tell you remember. Something. You can access a obscure line from a a D movie. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Patrice. You know what happened, man. Of course you do. Because I I wasn't intoxicated watching the movie every time. Anthony yeah. was teary faced. Here's what happened. <laughs> oh no, dear, here we go. Exactly. Here's Jim's. I love Jim's reenactments of anything happened, that though. ever happened. And she I, she was, you mean Jim's accuracy? That's right. You think there was candlelit? She saw the shimmer of the light off your face. Yeah. And it looked wet, and she realized she'd been weeping, and she put her hands on her shoulder. She said, "Anthony," and you went, "What?" <laughs> and she is said, that what happened? She said, you're crying. And you went, I know. And she said, what's the matter? And you went, I love you. <laughs> and internally she went, Ugh. Did I turn into Joaquin? <laughs> <laughs> internally she went, yuck. Uh, hey. Uh, Steve, uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore has it uh, perfectly. He, he writes, uh, Jill said, I love this wine. I love you too, Jilzy Wilzy. <laughs> Jilzy Wilzy. I don't think I've ever said that. I saw an opportunity and you went for it. No, he misunderstood <laughs> something she said. Right. Like, oh, here's what it is. <laughs> Anthony said, would you like to get another bottle of booze? She said, I'd love to. And he went, I love you too. Right. And exactly. she was too embarrassed for him to correct it him. A, it was a mistaken I love you. Yes. We, what, Anthony, Anthony, what I happened? Can you just tell us what happened? I'd love to. Because <laughs> you had to, okay, give us the, the sober I love you when, mm -hmm. when it wasn't drinking. Give us the sober they, that you guys sobered up been, in now. They haven't been sober yet. Here's the sober one. <laughs> yes, we have. He said, Twice. He said it again in the morning. He went, I love you. And she was like feeling so awkward. She, You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, God. If that or, ever or, happened. Or a, oh, stop it, you. If oh, that awkward. ever happened, <laughs> I would leave the premises immediately, never to return. Sweet. Has she been to Never. You, Has she you been called me Smoopy. You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. Bye, Smoopy. Bye, Smoopy. Bye, Smoopy. Hi, Smoopy. Hi, Smoopy. No, you're Smoopy. You're Smoopy. <laughs>
Don't mind forgiving, Schmoopy. Yes, Schmoopy. Schmoopy, how about a little tuna? You want a little tuna fishy? <laughs> I, I I love that clip. That's it's pretty accurate. From though. Seinfeld. All right, listen. An awful yeah. couple. Where are we at? We got Richard Huff on the line, who's writing about a few things that have uh, a few Ooh. things that have something to do with this uh, radio show here. Let's uh, say hi to Richard Huff. Uh, Mr. Huff, it's a pleasure to be talking to you on the Opie and Anthony show. Hey guys. Here's Richard. How are you doing, Richard? You, you were very busy talking about uh, writing about the show yesterday. <laughs> I got to tell you, all this lovey-dovey stuff make me throw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, you were talking about the photographs. This is the most photographed couple in the history of, of media. and it also The history of white trash. It, so it just almost, say it like we're saying it. <laughs> it. It almost has this feeling of like you're afraid it's going to end, so you've got to get proof. Oh, so, ever, so I need pictures at every corner. Yep. And, all they're missing is an adopted Chinese kid. <laughs> 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 it's also interesting how many pictures of Jill and other people are there, especially some you know, beefy guys here uh, in some of these shots that are kind of scary. Oh, what? Like I would have to worry about some big uh, uh, a man. guy, a man? <laughs> what are you saying? Two words, hockey player. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, you know something? Wow. I think I have a, a lot of things over hockey players, my friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the inside dig on that? What's going on there? Oh, she's dated hockey players. <laughs> oh, she used to date hockey players. Yeah. Anthony's good with this. Islander. Stick. She used to be the, the Thank like the, what do they call her? The girl that just skated around and got the crowd all riled up at the, the Islanders games. Uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm a season ticket holder. She never did any skating, my friend. Oh, it was never skating, right? Oh, here She'd it is. She'd walk around the ice, and and what? No, she walked around the Nassau Coliseum, and uh, every guy would turn their head. They would need a chiropractor as she walked by, and that's not a joke. And then you would watch everyone's date to the uh, the game. Yeah. Get really pissed off because the dudes were checking out Jill as she uh, just worked the crowd. And could you do me? Yeah. She was great, actually. That's what. Yeah, that's she what was, it was she her was job. Great, she was great at. It. Can yes, you do Patrice. Me a huge favor, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, Patrice. Can you not have discussions one night when you're uh, letting all your truths out about who you slept with and who she slept with? Don't get into that. I don't get into that. I never do. Okay. This is just sure. public knowledge, you know. All right, I'm just saying. It's like uh, public domain. Hey, I'm just saying for your own. Before we lose Richard, though, Richard, in your, in your column this morning, the television and radio section of uh, the Daily News, uh, you write, seems the off-air love affair between radio host Anthony Cumia of Opie and Anthony and Channel 11 traffic reporter Jill Nicolini is, well, real. I love how you wrote that. Is, well, pause, real. <laughs> A website, anthelini.com, has been created to track the romance. After looking at the pictures of the happy couple, the upside of this merger of media titans, titans. is <laughs> that it gives like that. single guys who might look like the married guy at the top of the opposite page hope. Just saying. And you were the guy at the top of the opposite page. It, yeah. It, it's the Billy Joel syndrome. Yeah. What's what oh. that? Driving into a house? <laughs> that is awful. What's the Billy Joel <laughs> syndrome? It, it, Cheryl, whatever her name this is. This guy's getting a little too comfortable with yeah, certainly and, is. And you know what? That is such a... That is such a... You, women don't think like us. We, we don't need to say that ever. That's true, Patrice. Richard, you don't want us uh, going back to hating you. Trust me. No, Richard's right. Stop getting, stop getting comfortable with our radio show. <laughs> no, right. man. No. Uh, the hot girls will a lot of times just go with guys who get them in a different way. You're right. They don't think like us. That is right. Yeah. Christy Brinkley and Billy Joel, Billy Joel's gift... We, was bigger than her hotness. But that is that's a. What but that is, that's what I'm saying is that is that we have to come with her. Her prettiness, for some reason, has is a, is is matching his establishment as a man. But but for real, it's not. It's she's, she's not. Most hot girls, like we're in high school. Most hot girls date the hot jocks. They don't date funny guys. Again, I know there's exceptions, but the majority of the time is in high school. You probably, I know, I didn't. It's almost like the, I bang girls way out of my league only because I'm funny mm -hmm. and because that's, you know, and I'm not knocking Anthony. Anthony's brilliant, but it's his. Jimmy. That, that, that and, right. it's, and it, she obviously thinks he's cute and she likes him and she thinks he's handsome, but it's not like, oh Did my God. Did she ever tell you that? Yes. Really? <laughs> Silly. Look, really? At, look at Anthony just looking down that's all true. shy. And when you unroll hey. it for the first time, does she go, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, and you uh, untied <laughs> it from around your waist. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did a whole bit on the the presentation of it. <laughs> and, so, and Richard, 
Sorry, you have to be burdened with uh, with with uh, the other people in the studio too, as opposed to just Opie. We apologize that you have to hear other. Oh people. yeah, yeah, with the hero. <laughs> Wait, before we move on to me being a hero, I don't uh, write the headline. Oh, I, I, well, you know what? Let's not tell everybody because I want to assume that you did write the headline <laughs> and that you were very accurate. Uh, Richard, so you said it, it gives hope to guys like you, but you're married, so are you hoping to dump your wife? I said guys who look like me. Public service announcement, I love my wife. Oh, okay. I'm very happily married. <laughs> All, <right. laughs> All of this is done <laughs> to ingrate myself with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for the laugh, guys. <laughs> All right, so you're you were shocked when you found out that this was a real thing, huh? Well, you know, according to Jill, it's real. She uses that L word all the time. Now you're saying according to C, so you still think what? It's a bit. No, I never said that. Okay, I, I never said that. What, what What is the um? What's the idea that if it was fake, what is the idea behind the fakeness? Like, oh, what uh, I've heard point? on message boards. I've read things like it's uh, mutual publicity for this program and for uh, Channel Eleven, uh, uh, the CW Eleven News. Um, it's Jill trying to get publicity for herself. It's me trying to get publicity for myself. It's like, yeah, it's like it, Boy, this I wonder, whole... I wonder where they got that idea from. Maybe the <laughs> thousand pictures that we all had to leaf through in the first 24 days of your relationship. She likes taking a lot of pictures, and, and uh, she photographs very well. Does it bother and... you at all? Pictures? The constant... Picture? No, okay. I think they're great. We we were in different places. We're all having fun. Does it bother you the constant photographers going, sir? Could you step out of the way? So <laughs> he's my date. Oh. <laughs> Shut or, up. Or could you take this picture? <laughs> <laughs> I had that happen once at the uh, Tavern on the Green. It was Christmas, and this couple got up, and uh, there was a big Christmas tree there. And a couple got up, and they have a camera, and they walked over and go. Uh, uh, would you mind taking a picture? And I was like, okay. So I stand up, and they handed me the camera. I thought they wanted to take a picture with me. I was feeling all good about myself. Like, oh, they they listen to the show. She goes, oh, would you mind taking a picture? I'm like, yeah, no problem. So I stand up, and they handed me the camera. <laughs> it was very embarrassing. <laughs> well, you can fix your collar first. Like, well, no, I always snaps yeah. up. Well, I looked at the people at the table. Like, uh oh, here it comes. You know, oh boy. A hassle. Why can't they leave me alone while I'm eating? <laughs> it's, it's the worst when that happens. Same exact, so exact thing with my family. Do you think of those awful pal talk girls and go, God, how could I ever have? <laughs> no, no. I, I'll tell you, there are a couple of pal talk girls that are Still in the stunning. Run. What? Yeah, there are. A couple that are stunning. The majority but, but of them a, Jill is a different should level, be though. punched in the face. That's right. She's but, a different uh, level of pretty, though. <laughs> Huh? She's a different level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. That's a whole different, uh, you know. Hey, Richard. A whole yeah. different thing, too. You're a it's reporter. Not an internet thing. Maybe you could get something out of Anthony We can. You're a reporter. Ask him the tough questions. Where is the relationship leading? Uh, do you believe in marriage again? You always said you didn't want to have kids. Is that still true? Come on, Richard. Let's get into this. It's a hard bit. hitting. Well, well, you need her dad in here for that. Wouldn't he be better at this? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, is he grilling you on that, Anthony? Um. No. Yeah. <laughs> a little Anthony, bit. Anthony is the same age as her father. I am not. <laughs> they hang out. They, his father fell in love with Anthony when they started reminiscing about the Ray Robinson fight. <laughs> 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 they were criticizing Raging Bull. It didn't happen that way, the way I remember it. <laughs> that darky show can move. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, a couple of Italians. <laughs> they smoke unfiltered cigarettes yeah. together. Yeah. And they're cute when they're young. That's Italians trying to be, like, politically correct. <laughs> yeah. Richard. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember hearing that as a kid. <laughs> uh, very accurate, right? Uh, uh, Richard, anything else before we let you go? <laughs> no, I'm all good. I want to thank you for the headline today. Radio show host Opie <laughs> talks listener out of suicide attempt. You got it very accurate, you know, my friend. You know, if you read the story, it doesn't say that. Yeah. Well, uh, who? Why bother reading the story when the headline says it all, though? <laughs> You're right. Good point. <laughs> um, I just, uh, I just want to say, Richard, maybe a few of these pictures should find their way into uh, the paper. I think being the Long Island power couple that we are, or rubbish couple as some people have called us. Well, How much wait, attention wait, wait. do you need? Why would you want them in the paper if this wasn't for publicity? Ah. Well, it's, it's not because I think people should know uh, and, and see that there uh, are successful broadcasting people here in the area that are uh, in love and out there and yeah. you guys That's, just you guys have have uh well wait this is definitely this is this is what's, what's the word this is groundbreaking uh, yes it is it's groundbreaking. it's groundbreaking do you have a public relations guy working on this uh no 
No. No. Isn't that odd? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. You're the biggest media couple since Kaidi and Maury. <laughs> 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 uh, that's a good one. Now, do you catch these upper echelon, like the weather girls, and and maybe the you know are they looking at you different now? Um, I don't know. I really haven't. Uh, I've I've been to a few functions and parties where I've met some of the people there uh, over at CW11 and uh, other other places. But um, no, I've just you know. Did they treat you like Morgan Freeman from Street Smart? <laughs> <laughs> I've been treated very nicely. Go to various parties and uh, have a lot of fun. Royalty. Yes. They don't call you it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Jill? Why would I be called it? Is this yours? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're very not, happy in you on with the part. way uh, I, I treat her and everything. Absolutely. Yeah, right. It's uh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's changing the show as we know it, dude. I'm just nah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I just want to listen to the show unfold as it's a it's a fine fine. Everyone is in love. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants too. Oh, because Traveling Pants one was so good, dude. We did the bit. It was yeah. we killed that stupid. Oh god. <laughs> we killed that stupid bit. Would you go ahead, ever be caught it, Patrice, dead? Ahead, Would you it. ever be caught watching that <laughs> the first, drivel? The first Mystic one. Pizza 3. Yeah. Dude, the, <laughs> the return of what? Patrice, the first one didn't even do well. <laughs> and they decided to make a second one. Where, the Bridges of Madison County 2. <laughs> where Fat Broad is going to uh, squeeze into the same pants as Skinny Broad. <laughs> See, they're like magic pants. What? They fit all the broads. The fat ass one. The little skinny ass one. The only reason I knew that movie exists is because of that ridiculous title. They just had yeah. to yeah. do another movie so they could say it again. Traveling the Pants. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2. Doesn't Traveling Pants mean like a wedgie? <laughs> like, oh, they're traveling on me. <laughs> the first movie made $8.600 at the box office. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, they had to make another. I, I just watched it. I thought it was a Club Med commercial because they just show these girls jumping in the water. Of course. And it's Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2. Two. You Are didn't... you serious? I'm so sorry, dude. Well, I what? couldn't even. <laughs> now go with it, man. We killed this movie. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Didn't you see how the first one ended? It left an open end for uh, a sequel. Really did? Yeah. Did she pull out a card and say there's an evil guy, there's an evil woman killing everybody? No, actually, uh, she Doc calls herself Catwoman. Doc Brown came back down and said, "It's your kids. It's your kids." And then they all got in the uh, DeLorean and it took off. And uh, you know where they were going, they didn't need roads. <laughs> So that's how it ended, and it said to be continued. Are you serious? Yes, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants ended that way. So now it's Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2. And then Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 3 will take place in the Old West. <laughs> Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 4 be in 3D. 3D. <laughs> As a fat woman rolls her own burrito and moves it towards the camera and back. <laughs> I can't believe I'm so sorry, dude. I cannot believe I just saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Horrid. I thought it was a Why? cruise ship commercial. I was just no, looking it's... at it. It's two girls jump in the water. Yay. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Too. Do you know what that awful movie is about? These, I don't know. These little broads go, go on vacation and stuff and uh, wear these pants. And then when they have adventures... And then they send the pants to another girl, and when she puts the pants on, then they show her boring ass story. And then she's is it the same, is it the same concept of the dollar bill movie that you know? What Maybe whoever has the, the dollar. And now it, it's just with pants. Whoever's got the pants on, that's some dirty you know, ass pants too. Yeah. Filthy ass pants. They didn't have enough pants adventures in one. No. And Didn't for some reason, it still go, fits. You know what? We're going to cut out one of these traveling pants adventures. No, they have you plenty. You want the synopsis of two or what? Please. What's the synopsis of one? Three years, three years after the events of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, the four young women are back. Despite the distance that divides them as they depart for college, the mm -hmm. friends from Anne Blah Blah Teen's book series still stay connected. This sequel returns Amber and Blah and Blah 
Is Ugly Betty in it again? Yeah, yeah, Ugly Betty's in there. And so the Amber Tamblin. That's why. There you go. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ugly yeah. Betty's in it. Those all traveling right. pants should just be, if they're off to college, it should be in some dorm room, laying on the floor, ready to just get full of stuff that wasn't completely cleaned up. <laughs> Here, now you take them. What's this in here? Put them through the wash. Yeah. They should call it Sisterhood of Traveling Pants, not at Ugly Betty's Famous. We're trying it again. <laughs> and, and and they're magic. They are kind of magic pants because they fit Amber Tamlin's ass and Ugly Betty's ass, yeah. which would never happen. That's like me fitting into Patrice's pants. It's yeah, and all of a sudden they fit. Sisterhood of Traveling Pants started over here, Patrice. <laughs> Brotherhood of the Traveling Pants. Yeah. Hey, Oop, let me grab your pants. All right, is it your turn to well, wear the pants? I want to have an adventure. I cannot believe this. Oh. I can't get in a movie to save my life. You're the brother, brotherhood of Opie smelly sweatpants. <laughs> Everyone's got to wear his gym pants. Me and Steve. We should do a parody for YouTube. I think it would do very well. Us yeah. three just sharing pants. Sharing our pants. How about we, Patrice, could you bring in a pair of your jeans and Not we'll. Not a problem. We'll do a whole freaking thing for YouTube. Not a problem. Brotherhood of the traveling Patrice pants. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna happen. It's gotta happen. Here's the dumb trailer. Don't you know that all the beaches in Greece are nude? Lena Shy. Lena Shy. Oh, you got one shy one. All right, here we go. <laughs> a shy one. Yep. A hoa. Right. Mm -hmm. One that's uh, wow, 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 wow. Very, very studious. An intellectual, sure. Yeah. And, and the one, other oh, one's kind uh, of athletic. Just a rebel. No. Oh, maybe. No, no, a rebel. Yeah. I'm going a rebel. rebel. A tattoo. Well, on a rebel finger. ho. Yeah, yeah. You need okay. athletic, intellectual, shy, ho. That's the formula. Okay. This is basically Sex in the City for 20 something. Hey. Lena Shy. Saturday night. Meet me. I can't. Bridget's bold. <laughs> Tibby's bored. And Carmen speaks her mind. You think that a pair of jeans that fits all three of you is going to fit all of this? Four friends. Her four big stories, ass. One sisterhood. <laughs> I'm so sorry. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants with a PG starts Wednesday, June 1st. Boring. Oh, that was the first one. <laughs> of course. Oh, that was the one for the first. But it yeah. could it could be for the second one. It's the same guy. Ooh, the same, same story. Oh uh, no, that's his... that's pants too. Trey. What? what? <laughs> yeah, I was guess. It? Yeah. Because the trailer for two should just be. Remember the first one. There you go. Same crap. <laughs> <laughs> Only their asses are a little bigger. <laughs> And Betty's famous. <laughs> Ugly Betty's famous now. <laughs> she was contractually obligated to do another one. Uh, Patrice, uh, we got the porno titles together for you. Mm. Here, I'll give one a amp. Ooh, Patrice it. came up with a great observation on the other yes. side, but we couldn't do it because you got to keep it, uh, you know, safe Kinda over clean, there. Yes. But basically, uh, with what's going on in the world, with political correctness, black versus white, all that crap. What'd you say, Patrice? I don't want to like. <laughs> it, it basically porn is the only place left for honest racism. And no more, no <laughs> fucking. They don't dance around anything anymore. Right. If you if you watch some of the titles, there's fantastic titles. <laughs> you want to read some of these? Sure. Yeah. In the, in the <clears throat> quote real world, you, you you'd stay away from the whole black white thing, but not in not in porn. Not man. in porn. Not for a second. And not only is it. Like they they challenge the the language, it's it's what they're doing too. It's right. like you know, right? You know, I, you ouch, nigger is you know would what, be. What what can we do? Uh, we can't say the n word. No. We can't uh, make fun of Asians. No. What else, Anthony? That have they taken away from us? Um, uh, the oh, um a lot uh, of gay that. thing. A lot of gay references can't, can't be used. Right. Sure. All that stuff. All right. With that, Patrice. The first one is is a genius one called "Oh No, Whoa. There's a Negro in My Mom." <laughs> uh, Where is that? And it's of a guy um, that's supposed to be a son. Oh, okay. And a kind of older milf lady, kind of looks a little a little like you know the Peg Bundy kind of lady, kind of hot with black hair. Yeah, she's all right. And here's the fantastic thing: there's a there's a um, black dude fucking her, but she's not paying attention to the fucking. She's mm. looking at the camera to take her picture as the oh no, there's right. a Negro for right. my wife lady. Right. And the guy is doing the um, the the, the, the home alone. <laughs> oh no, there's a Negro. The second one is oh no, there's a Negro fucking 
There's a Negro in my wife. <laughs> in my wife. I guess it's part of the the whole oh no there's a Negro series. <laughs> there's a Negro, this is oh, the oh no there's a Negro series. Yeah. And uh, the word Negro is spelt out in bones, <laughs> which yeah. uh, I find very funny. Yes, absolutely. Oh, it's it's, it's hilarious. But it, the 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 fourth one is. Uh, and this is by Griffin Cam Johnson. Mm -hmm. This is called, I Can't Believe You Sucked a Negro. <laughs> right. And another one called Sharon's Negro Problem with the title. Wait, wait, wait. The funny thing is they list the Negroes in this film. You oh, got, it says the Negroes. Yeah, the Negroes. And then it's uh, Lee Bang, Byron By Long. Byron Long, who has a giant, and, you know, she shouldn't believe she sucked that guy's thing. No. It's a giant. Yeah, Guy De Silva, who's who's really should be retired by now, and a new guy called The Rock. Oh, and Delvin, Devlin. We so these these are kind of old school dudes. Okay. And then um, old the, black cock. The bigger, the blacker, the better. Sharon has a Negro problem. Four. Four. <laughs> you can't stop them. You can only hope to contain them. <laughs> but it says on the box. <laughs> <laughs> And then we, uh, then the guys came up with some more porno titles. Oh, it's delicious. Showing that it's alive and well, this racism in the porn world anyway. Come drench black faces. Mm -hmm. I wish they had a box for that, because I would love to see that. Sure. Uh, we got Kung Pao Pussy. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like the abominable black man. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, uh, and this, in this day and age where, you're right, this is the last bastion I where mean, racism... I am saying, this is... Uh, I, and, and this stems in my mind from the fact that, um, you know, the whole Don Imus thing, mm -hmm. that the whole thing of de de defending him back back when, when it happened was, it's, you think this is a, this is, you, you're trying to stop white people from saying nigga? White people don't say nigga. No. It's like, it's stopping me from being able to say what the fuck I want to say. Yeah. And now nobody under any circumstances over at the, at CBS no time can you say the N word ever under any how circumstance, crazy is that? under any contents. Not even black people can say it if we wanted to. And how crazy is that? Uh, it's really crazy. It makes no Which sense. Which was the ultimate plan in the goddamn beginning. Was like, who the fuck says that? No one. But white people say it at home. Yeah, like and black people say it out. So, so this is the this is it. Porn is it. Porn is where you know. Yeah. Slant, slant eye for the straight guy, which you know, some, it's a dude just fucking up giant. Oh, yeah. Mommy Culo Grande, big Puerto Rican bitches. That's Black Power 3, that tells you. Black Pipe Layers. Pi Black Pipe Layers, which is a. I'm very familiar with porn. It's, um, it's my boy, uh, Justin, Slayer. Justin Slayer and his friends, and they kind of travel around the, the world and they just fucking give it to some white woman which i should just tie anthony up and make him watch yeah and they just mm. pound their brains out i mean wow look, and this, these it's are the upsetting. kind of setting the, these these videos are not like the movies back in the day where it was there was a tinge of acting yeah this is a real fucking you know really i mean this well, is just should we get uh, some of that up Oof. there and the thing that's that's might actually have a copy on tv too the the, the <laughs> thing <clears throat> of course why wouldn't we where porn took a turn which mm -hmm. it, it Back in the day, I don't know if you're porn watchers, but back, oh, yes. back in the day, it used to be uh, women were porn stars. Mm -hmm. Women, like you know, oh. that one. Last porn star left now is probably uh, your girl, but she's getting old now too. She's leaving. Uh, Who? Uh, the white girl everybody loves. Jenna. Jenna James. Uh, she, she left mm. already, I think. She is. So, yeah, so it's done. It used to be one woman fucking a bunch of nameless dicks. Now right. it's. It's one guy with a name fucking a lot of nameless women. Yeah. It's it's interesting. It's, yeah, it's these nice. women just gagging and fucking just, puking on cocks. and Just arbitrary women that just yeah. show up. Big black dicks oriental slits. That's... <laughs> <laughs> what about bang... White, white up that black ass. Yeah. What about bang that black bitch, white boy? <clears throat> there you yeah. go. That sounds good right there. Wow. I mean, and where are did the say, civil rights movements on these titles here? Did you say uh, anal with an oriental slant? Oh. D d That's an actual <laughs> title. Something must be done about the horrible titles of the movie. How about Afro <laughs> Fuckfest? <laughs> Afro Fuckfest. <laughs> this is crazy. This is fucking crazy. Dark meat says it all. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Negro mm-hmm. and Mrs. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like Jackass the movie. Okay. Afro American hair pie. So that's black girls without the shame. And mm-hmm. come, I love cum drenched black faces. That's one I would want to see. But it's it's like it's there's no more back in the day. The Devil and Mrs. Jones didn't know what that was really. Oh about. yeah, yeah. Debbie does Dallas. Mm. They put little stories to him. I think taboo. Yeah. You know, and now it's just. I don't like stories with porno. Well, back in the day, that was what it was used to. Now it's just like I'm gonna grab you by your hips and fuck you in your asshole. Cunt. That's pretty much it. It's like two. First, it's guy, girl, they're nude, or they get naked. Guy, a girl gives the guy a blowjob. Guy eats the chick's pussy. Then they start fucking. Then maybe fucks her in the ass. And then there's a money shot. You're not you know, interested in, some way, in the story anymore. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but like the they got to shake it up a little bit. But back in the day, the story was kind of cool when it was sort of believable. Then what? Then they just gave up on trying to make it believable, and that's when the story thing sucked. Mm. You know what I mean? I, you know something? I don't mind. Here's what they need more, more movies like. And this is, I think, what the guys would like. Uh, a lot more movies with girls getting fucked, but I don't want to see a lot of the fucking guy. Right. I don't like... You know, you ever tried jacking to a fucking porn, and then you got to get through a few seconds of the guy's face going, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, right. oh, oh, the guy's fuck face, and you're like holding your dick and going, oh, Christ. And the famous bob shot. <laughs> yeah, the not back m- of how many, balls. How many guys are a fan of the bob shot? The bob shot is the back of balls shot. It's uh, where the balls are swinging, <laughs> and he's fucking her from behind, That's from and it's genius, the shot the from bob behind shot. the balls, the bob shot. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see a bell clapper fucking a, slapping a, back and forth. Were you a porn jerker? Uh, yeah, I used to fucking... It was like special occasion, though. If I had some time, you know, if uh, no one else was in the house, I'd pop a porn in, jack off a little bit there. Uh, it wouldn't take long. And then you wouldn't watch any after you're done fucking. Black meat, please. Oh, is this is this like black guys fucking white chicks? Well, it, oh yeah, the oh, description this is gonna be is abomination great. for me. Eight white sluts that love black cocks. So, could you watch these cute little white girls get fucked by a black dude, or you can't even watch that? Yeah, why not, eh? Uh, what? What? White girls getting fucked by? Would that bother you? White girls getting fucked by black guys? In, in it's porno. not my favorite type of porn. Believe me. I'm my favorite type of anything. <laughs> What's not, your favorite porn? I actually uh, like um, uh, white guys ravaging black chicks. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm into, uh, I think uh, they call it like amateur. But like real fucking, I like regular looking chicks kind of fucking getting Just, fucked. No, yeah. I don't like porn starry chicks. That's a good call for man. Yeah. Yeah, I like amateur that stuff. Shit is I mean, way, way amateur way shit. Better. That's kind of cool. Looks like a regular it's room. reality. Yeah, stuff Even like that. You know, you may see, uh, may see your daughter or your auntie, <laughs> auntie, or your, your next auntie. door neighbor that you hope. <laughs> yeah, just shit like that. Like I'm not into fucking ridiculous looking porn star chicks. Uh, they're just uh, they they don't. They Are you a fan of the? Don't uh, look hot at all. What is it called? The interactive uh, porn. Hi, I've been waiting all day for you. No. <laughs> That's the worst. Where the camera angle is supposed to look like you're fucking them. Also, it's like, well, come in here. Come here. Come oh, here. she's asking me to come in? Yeah. POV. She's, she's- what is POV. It POV. Point of view. Yeah, point of view. It's yeah. POV. Oh, that that's, is the when worst. The, that's when the guy holds the camera. Yeah. yeah. The, and just but that's, the whole. But that, that's now supposed to be you. And oh, then he oh, put, does he put here. the camera down though when he's getting blowjobs so you see him getting his dick sucked and it's supposed to be like you? Yeah. You get a, yeah okay. Are you a porn guy, Steve? Oh, Steve is oh, am I? the ultimate porn guy. I get meatloaf sized boxes every I like week. all kinds of porn. Boys, men, whatever. <laughs> no, I like the real stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, is Steve know. gay? We don't know. No. I don't think Steve is gay. <laughs> no, nah, we don't. From it. They tease you constantly, but yeah, I, don't, I know. I don't know. Yes. He has a, you know, he has a gay landlord's walk. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> what but, the fuck does that mean? It's just he has a, he has a little stroll. He kind saunters. Of thing. Yeah, yeah, he saunters. But I mean, I As don't I'm feel not in a hurry to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gay landlord walk. Yeah, like somebody that just, <laughs> I tell you, my, my sink is stopped up and you come in with slippers yeah. and you stand like with like Mr. a, Mr. Furley. Like a gay Superman stand with his hands on his <laughs> hips and just. 
Dude, goes, I don't know. I guess I got to get somebody to come in. I just, I just looked up at the TV, and I was ready to say, uh -oh. I swear to God, I think CNN just lost their minds. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. Yes. Because in the studio, uh, you know, a lot of people have seen it at this point. There's so many flat screens as, like, every news station possible so we can be up on shit. And I look up, and I see, kiss my ass four. Kiss my ass four. And hardcore stuff going on. Textbook pussy <sighs> five. How can any guy not, this is what kills me, how can any guy with just countless numbers of stinking ass bitches not be able to get pussy. I don't, wh how, where are these girls coming from? 18, oh, 19? Midwest. Oh, this is bad. Huh? They hit them up before they turn 19 and 18 oh, years old. Christ. They get them when they're younger and then they sign them when they're 18 or 19. Wait, what's wrong, Ed? Oh, God, what is she doing? What's wrong? Oh, my yeah. God. It's white chicks just getting ravaged by black dick. Well, it's, and... it's black meat four, please. Yeah. Imagine the fucking... Imagine that chick's dad Black just tips, looking in going, clips. oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit, look at that. Oh, uh, oh. The guy can only get it halfway in. What the fuck is that about? God damn. I'm going to ruck your dick, starring uh, Susie <laughs> ruck fucking <your> Chang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's, let's listen to some of this dialogue, too. Oh, shit. Feature your presentation. Going effort to help you make an informed choice oh, in the election. <laughs> oh. Yeah. oh, I was oh. going to say, wow. <laughs> CNN has left. How does a black cock have to do? What does a black cock have to do with the election? Holy shit! What? Yeah, they're playing some hip hop. Like as a. Got a fat cock there. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, I am Nick. Pretty much saw the whole movie. This what the intro? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, that's gonna hurt. Wow. <laughs> This guy's sporting a fucking uh, baseball bat. Ha! Huh. Oh my god! I oh, feeds him a little bit. What do you think, Ant? Uh, uh, that was like the preview, but it was basically the whole fucking movie. Wow, that's reparations right there, if you ask me. That we're even. What? We're even. That's reparation. Are you fucking kidding me? That was happening during slavery time. It just wasn't legal. <laughs> now this guy can't get lynched for this. <laughs> What's going on here? Wow. Why don't we explain this? Got it's two like girls. she's petting a horse neck. <laughs> 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 that fucking thing is stretching it out. This is a great this is this is a great life to live I think if you just say like you know that the rest of your life is going to suck after this. <laughs> Dude, black guys got like an extra extra like bone in their what? I, I don't know. They got like an <laughs> They got like an extra part in their cock. What was that? It's an extra muscle or something. It's called more dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh yes. <laughs> Alley oop. But she has the the real um my pussy is wet um jump coming out. Yeah. See Anthony's familiar. Your dick is big enough to see extra things come out the vagina, right, Anthony? Well, uh, he's a little, you know. Sometimes some stuff comes out, right? <laughs> do you hit, wait, Blood organs. Do you hit the you hit the back end? Uh, we were talking about that the other day when you hit the back and feel well, like No, no, I'm asking do you hit the back? You feel some shit in there? You hit the back? You can hit the cervix, yeah. I'm saying, yeah. do you hit... I, I, I've hit cervix, I'll be honest. On a regular basis? Um, Is there a pussy where the yeah, cervix it's... was not hit? Uh, maybe if I'm not, you know, feeling it. Fully? Yeah, yeah if I'm Fully, not you feeling hit the it. cervix. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you gotta hit the back wall every so often. Yeah, I know people do, but... Yeah. I wish... You never back walled it there, Patrice? Uh, my fingers... Where is it now? I can't believe <laughs> we've been listening to this for about 20 minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, are we doing a radio show? <laughs> you fucking assholes. <laughs> I can't believe this. There's somebody, there's people home just listening to this. <laughs> 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 you do forget, don't you? Well, oh, look, man. God. The guy, 
fucking mayo on there. The piece of oatmeal, where is it now? Oh boy, that can't taste good now. Oh god. That's got it. There's just so much white shit all over. Maybe you just oh. can't see that on white guys. Oh shit, he's flirting with me. You can't oh, see god. it like, just like you can't see tattoos on black guys? It's yeah, like, maybe yeah. that's it. <laughs> He can't see pussy shit. There's just white, white shit dick. all over his dick. <laughs> she spit right on her asshole. Uh, that so that's be gotta good. be next. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Ed, you're like, oh, dude, I can see the plot already. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what's coming next. I know how this is gonna end. She's this is, getting ass fucked. This is poorly written. She doesn't look very thrilled. No. I came to America to uh, get the education, maybe go into a nursing school, and now Big Negro fuck me an asshole. <laughs> Sisterhood of the traveling black cock. Oh. <laughs> yes, everyone tells a story. Yeah. Uh, no, don't no, move that no, up. Come on, fast forward. He want to see. On. It fast forward to the yeah. to where she to where everyone tells her it's yeah. over. Oh, he's got a, he's got oh, two right, fingers right, in right, her right, ass. All right, this is all the right. He two fingers in her asshole. ass. All right, this guy's oh, getting boy. ready. Oh boy, he's getting ready to dive in. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, he's stretching. It oh out. He's shit! Ready. Yeah, he knows what he's got to do to get that fucker in there. He's Good. stretching it open. Oh no! This oh, can't be. Oh no. no! Here it goes, folks. This, this part of the movie called "Hit." This is here. Take this. Oh. Here's, your, here's your slavery. Oh <laughs> shit! Wow. <laughs> That's that move. God damn, <laughs> damn it. Here's your slavery, Here's your buddy. Sla uh, diapers for the rest of your life. Yeah, this is this is called, hey, you brought us over. <laughs> oh, you God damn. Didn't you see how big my dick was then? <laughs> uh, she, uh... All right, we're fast forwarding. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Anyone else get getting the urge to sing opera? Because all you see is <laughs> yeah, her asshole looks like. <laughs> <laughs> A little on top, yeah. You got to get all the positions in before the Jesus. big money shot. All right, we're fast forwarding. This is the longest fuck scene in history. No yeah, kidding, man. Already. This is the Godfather three of fucking. Here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now he's just piling them up. On oh, here we go. Oh Whoa. shit! A little for you. Wow! Oh damn! You. All right. Close that left eye. You fucking. You think the director was pissed off that he shot the load over her head like that? No, the he said cut. Was... No, that was a great one. I think that was a one taker with that line right over her eye. Yeah. Yeah. Can't open it. She has to guess where that giant dick is. That's uh. <laughs> a proud moment. Proud moment for the white race right there. <laughs> Gotta tell you. It's getting a load of jizz right hey, in her eyeball. It was your fucking fault. Mm. Now, if you elect Obama, no more of these videos. <laughs> That's he, it. He promises. Hey, uh, I know we want to move mm. on, but this two booby man who's always good for one in Brooklyn, he writes, think that is bad, look up Coxzilla. And then he writes, why do I know this? And then you got Greg in Philly, he writes, uh, you guys have to go to... Awnigga.com. The guy sticks his nuts in a chick's ass and his dick in the pussy. Yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> Could you go there? I don't don't, don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> can you go there? How yeah, do you do that? Me, uh, I'm trying to think a... how to do that even... It, I don't think you can do that in animation. I don't know. That's why. I, don't, I, I think that's something I've never seen right there. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that would be that's a new. Hell, that would be a hell of a trick. Yeah, it's new. Can we go there? Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to check it out real fast. I guess. Yeah. What? This right here? These yeah, bitches suck it. Maybe they got it. Hopefully they got it uh, spelled right. I don't know. We'll find it. I'm sure. Oh, the fancy no. spelling and we'll... Uh, They're corny. Oh, jeez. Fake. Yeah, yeah. The fucking... Oh, I hate fake bitches. They're this is corny. terrible now. They're mm. corny. These two are corny. The chick from that 70s show is going to get ravaged by a black guy. You know, it's funny, because if this is the video that I'm thinking about, we were actually just talking about it on the way over from TV. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, get it up on the big screen. Get it up, get it up there I for will. the fine people on the bleachers. All right, hang on a sec. I want to thank these guys for coming out today. 
We're a bit tired from the weekend, the big uh, comedy show. That was mm, a, yes. a success for the most part. Of course. I do so want to acknowledge that. I like that. the big um, yeah. a little awkward. Can we yeah. go full screen on this motherfucker? Yeah, it's not loading, unfortunately. Yeah, loading. We might have gave out the URL a little too soon. I could probably find it. I'm pretty sure I know which one this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are pros. You gotta love that. Have you seen this? Yeah. If it's the one I'm thinking Have you of, seen yeah. it? Yeah. It's uh, it's infamously called the the booyah video <laughs> because he says booyah at one point in oh, there. Oh really? But uh, yeah, this is video. If the, if if it's what I'm thinking of of the. Uh, the act that's typically known as the dog in a bathtub. Yeah, here it is. All right, let's go. <laughs> it looks like it. He's shoving his balls into her uh, asshole. What? He's trying. He's trying to get his balls. He's really squeezing them tight. And uh, there's no way he's gonna get that in there. Ow, that that's gotta hurt. How do guys have no nerves in their balls? Whether you can shove it in there. That's right, bitch. Oh, man. Freak that bitch out, Dan. Oh, nigga. Freak that bitch out, Tom. Oh, nigga. Nigga. Nussack in the asshole. Nigga. I can just be like, that's my boy. Wait, wait. Oh, nigga. What? What? Nigga, clown. What? What? Nuts in the ass, dick in the pussy. Uh huh. Use a nasty girl, ain't like, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm finna go try this at home. He's got balls in her ass. Oh, and my nuts. How you like that? Oh, yeah. How you like oh, that? Yeah. That house should just be wiped with a fucking Tech 9. Oh, my God. Just wipe the whole house. Dude, his balls are completely in her asshole. He didn't be peeing any goddamn way. Look at that asshole. I don't even want to let my nuts out. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> yeah. I like the guy who's just going, Nick. 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 They don't pop out? No, I guess this must be the short version. Oh, <laughs> oh too bad. Oh, All like... I got to say to white people is, aha. Aha. You know what? With, uh, after seeing that, it's official. They've done everything they could possibly do in porn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you got to watch the whole thing because the ending is really what makes it. Why? Oh, what does he do? Well, I, I think yeah. Travis just linked me to this. The full video is the full version. Oh, you don't want to ruin it. All right, don't ruin oh, it's it. Oh, the quick clip? Yeah. Okay. But it'll have the ending we want? Yeah. All right. Hold on, there's the quick clip. Can you go full Wait. screen on this? Actually, no, on this I don't think I can. All right. Here, here we go, man. Oh, booyah! <laughs> booyah! <laughs> booyah! No, you, gotta, you can actually hear the nuts come out of her ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait. Do it again. I want to hear that. You actually hear him pop. <laughs> Listen. Oh, booyah! <laughs> Vacuum packed. <laughs> that was like a vacuum seal opening up. And that wasn't no bullshit ass impressed by his boys. They were like, oh, shit. Oh, damn. Wow. Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> Booyah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, there you God. go. We're still, oh, that we're still right. cool in porn. Nigga. If you guys that want right. one more. Dude, if you call the regular show tomorrow, <laughs> regular radio, you got to end your call with Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> and we'll all be chuckling because we know what it means. Booyah. What, uh, what do you got, Danny? Well, it's uh, one of the greatest porn bloopers of all time because oh. it kept looking like in, in, the, in the DVD that you guys were watching, like he almost went into, into the butt, but he, he didn't. And it was uh -huh. some scary moments there. What? what this in the butt. <clears throat> what? What? Is, in the butt. He's going for the regular place and just brings it on home by accident. And oh. uh, one thing to look out for is her leg twitching like a dying animal <laughs> uh, during the impact. <laughs> it's been floating around the web for a while. This one's currently on uh, E5. Right. Like of course, every it's called Sorry Wrong Hole. Degenerate video I watch is on. Mm. All right. Nice. Yes. Um, nice so what's the most sensitive part of your body? I think that's part of your body. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about? <clears throat> What's that? More sensitive than that. Mm -hmm. I can believe we can find some. She's getting railed from behind. What? What? Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Her leg is twitching. <laughs> Holy shit. Watch. Oh my god! 
Dude, he buried it. Wow, he buried it. He's screaming. <laughs> that was a total accident, but she's okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where the fuck can you find that? Wow. That's on, uh, that's on E-Fucked, spelled E-F-U-K-T dot com. It's titled Sorry Wrong Hole. Holy it's probably the, the, the best oopsie ever. Wow, he buried it. Oh, and her leg just starts going. <laughs> Twitching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that funny. Right, she we, did start twitching. Uh, why don't we do line of the day and get the fuck out of here? Right, right. <laughs> right, right. Booyah! Line of the day, sponsored by Carbonite.com. Carbonite backs up your computer hard drive, so you never have to worry about losing any of your files. Check it out at Carbonite.com, promo code XM. We uh, start with the first runner-up line of the day. This fucking guy has to do two radio shows a day. We do one long one. He has to do... I believe he's on in mornings, and then he has to do afternoons. Every fucking day. Yeah. Takes a few bucks to hold on to a hot chick, doesn't it, fatty? <laughs> believe me, I know. <laughs> I heard that. You heard that? I was there. Yeah. I was there. You were sleeping, though. No, I was there. All right. Patrice did a great job, you guys. Let's hear it for Patrice. She's going to be at the Punchline this coming weekend? Yeah. Punchline in San Francisco. Thursday, Friday, Saturday this yeah. week? Yeah, yeah. Very good. I usually don't sleep. Um, I s slept over my girl's house the other day, and I've realized what keeps me up at night when I sleep over her house. Right. What's that? Her love. <laughs> it's just an annoyance. My, her love just keeps me awake. Her love for me. <laughs> You know, because I got I to gotta pee like an old man, you know. <laughs> Either my prostate's swollen or, you know, the diabetes makes me go to the bathroom every five seconds. And anytime I move, she goes, are you okay? You okay. Are you all right? Honey? You okay? <laughs> you need anything? You need anything? She oh, goes, run to the bathroom. She goes, flush the toilet as she, I pee. Oh. Like, my girl just... Does she shake for you, too? Or no? She Does just she loves me. <laughs> and I'm not against that. But I don't think she loves me... I think she loves because she's she never loves been a, loving. She loves love. She hasn't been in love her life. Mm -hmm. She has a kid that she loves. Mm -hmm. Now a new puppy that she loves, <laughs> and a man that she loves. And she's always been this just this selfish bitch, <laughs> just all about her. Just 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 it's me 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 and more me. And now she just I realize, sweetie, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I like you there. <laughs> But just, I realized why I wasn't sleeping. I slept good last night. You know why? No love. She didn't go, you got to get up at four. What well, is her voice I use for her. <laughs> He's an old, fat, why black you, lady. <laughs> you got to. You got to. Why you ain't, um, don't you got to get up at four? Why are you not, why are you not sleeping yet? It's quarter to seven in the evening. <laughs> You got to get up and do radio. You, you know, you got to be up and ready to go. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I was last night, I was sitting up, playing my video games. I was drinking diet, um, some type of root beer, diet root beer something. And I was gulping down, like, actually like M&M's, sugar-free turtles with the um the the nuts and the uh and the caramel inside. Right, right. That ain't good for you. No. But I think anything that says sugar free and diet is good. means I can eat <laughs> that 10,000 of them. So last night I was just there was no love interfering. Yeah. I got up, um went to the bed, chilled out for a minute, and um usually when she's there um for some reason she needs me in the bed with her to sleep. So at some point, I have to read something with my cell phone, like, Jesus. Um, and she's cold, like some old lady. I, and um, I'm I, trying. I know. Uh, it's, this is so hard for me. I know, because. Because we used to be the pimp trio. Card, like, uh, card, card carrying, carrying pimps. Pimps, stump brain. I mean, uh. only, and only thing when I mean card carrying pimp, I mean, boy, did I have a lot of girls. Yeah. And they all knew about each other. And didn't care. Oh, I kept them in the Matrix. I said, look. <laughs> the blue pill. Be happy when I'm there. <laughs> Straight. I might have to go to the board. You actually have a puppy. You have a puppy. I bought. Pimps don't have puppies. Look, at, pimps do not shop for puppies. <laughs> you got a puppy bed. Let me, let me tell you something else pimps don't ever say. Wee wee pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's over. Pimps, pimps.
pimps do not say we we pad. I'm still carrying the torch, but I I thought you. I st- well, look at man, you just came back though. Yeah. Um. Uh, you just let's say this. You've been married a long time. Yeah. Now you. I mean, if I'm allowed to say this yeah. information. Yeah. You're no longer married, right? Right. Officially signed. Official. Line. Official. But and one, thank God you ain't got nothing because she didn't get nothing. You're getting <laughs> exactly, everything. Exactly. I got everything I came in, which which was nothing. Nothing. She got fifty <laughs> percent of nothing, which means half of nothing. She got point nothing. But one thing, one thing I think say about marriage is that I was really glad that I wasn't faithful because I would if I was faithful, oh. I would have really been upset about the divorce. So <sighs> I can't join in with you. <laughs> I know my girl's listening right now, and her a hole just tightened up. Uh, she, um, what, here's uh, what she, here's what my girl does now. She knows I don't want to be faithful. <laughs> she knows. What, Go ahead. What was the thing that pissed her off that we? I said some. Oh, it was the threesome rules. And I said never. When you have a threesome, you never uh, go and sleep with the other girl. While she's not around, when she's not around, and <laughs> after that, she was you finished. You she, can't because she's her her biggest have, fear was that I would I would cheat with the threesome with girl. the threesome chick. Um, but here's the the reason it's her fault that we don't do that. By the way, is because um she doesn't have patience for women. Mm. I'm not supposed in the threesome world of rules. There's, you there's are a, not rules of engagement. To, you're not supposed to two things. One. Is one is two girls and a guy is a threesome. Two guys and a girl is a train. Train, absolutely. Um, if I need to get another guy, that's my responsibility. If my girl wants to be with another man and me, that's my responsibility to get the guy. If she wants to be, if I want to be with two girls and you know her and another girl, it's her responsibility to get the girl. But she's unfriendly, right? So she doesn't want. She doesn't have patience. She doesn't have patience the for the stupid stuff that she does. Well, my girl don't do that though. Not no more. She used to, but not. Mm. Nah. Yeah, I remember. Mm, yeah. The only thing my girl is now that is overwhelming is in love. <laughs> Her love is uh, jubilant. And 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 you can't see that's the that's their pimp move mm. is to overwhelm you like, uh, with their love where you can't say, "Hey, will you stop loving me?" Like this morning, I got a text from her. At 4.15 when I'm supposed to wow. get up, hey, it's 4.15. Like, she doesn't have to be up till 12 noon. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting up at 4.15 <laughs> to, to say- check on her to make sure her mom is still living. <laughs> <laughs> it's four. We can figure this out Baby, at 10.30. If you don't get up at 4.15... My mama gonna die. I'd be like, mm, how about ten thirty? <laughs> you better stay up through the night. You think your mom? Because <laughs> I just go to sleep at four twelve. <laughs> but anyway, I bought her a dog, and um, a puppy for her daughter. Because ultimately, here's something. Since she has a kid, and I have to, I've learned about this because I love the kid. The kid's a good kid. She one thing is kids don't have friends no more. Right. She only has friends from school, and she makes play dates. They don't go outside. They don't. There's no mommy. I'm going outside to play. It's because I guess all all of a sudden, out of nowhere, everybody's a pedophile. Yeah. And everybody's a kidnapper. I don't know if more people get kidnapped and kids get touch funny than before. Or they just advertise it more. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So ultimately, um, the kid is lonely. She comes in, and yeah. I see she talks to herself. She has full blown. <laughs> Like actual Schizo- schizophrenia conversations with herself, like very well thought conversations, <laughs> um, and not even with dolls. Almost, she's almost grown. She sits there, her legs are folded in the chair. Uh, she lights a little <laughs> pretend cigarette and just has conversations with herself. <laughs> but it's not because of craziness. It's just <laughs> no. It's just of course not. It's just that she has forty-seven hours of homework. Yeah. If she misses school, she has to do. It's un reasonable her schooling right unreasonable schooling wow. going on now and she has to come in and do these crazy this crazy work she does her work uh and then all she has to do to relate is from adults adult kind of things and she has to make play dates and all kind of goofiness so ultimately um i said let me get her a dog but of course i'm allergic so <laughs> 
get the sniffles in my eyes. Swell up. Scratch you in my throat. There's a, you know, there's a special cat that costs seventy five thousand dollars. <laughs> Called a, a Siamese a gunga cat that doesn't have a lot of dander. So you can kiss my dander. So I got her this little poodle, you know, and the, she's in love. The girl's in love. But also, Miss um, um, I, I got her. You know, she's in love, too. So, and unfortunately, uh, this is where my pimp card gets canceled. Yeah. And I love the dog, too. The dogs, I just, I'm a dog lover. It's, I wish to God I wasn't an animal lover. Animal, I, that slows me up. I never saw I Am Legend because of the scene where I, where I heard he had to choke his dog because he got bit by the I Am Legend monsters and he had to kill his dog. Oh, look at Stunt Brain made a sad blowing out. Yeah, I can't see it either because yeah. of that. You're you know? a dog lover, oh, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a dog lover. I mean, dogs, I had a dog when I was 17, got hit by a car. I never had another one because I just, I didn't want to, I just didn't want to love something that much that didn't know my name, that didn't know, <laughs> didn't know, I couldn't, I had to figure out what it said. Yeah. So ultimately, um, I haven't seen that. Um, three thing, three animal things that, that touch me to my heart, right? One or four, actually. Thank you, sir. Four things. One is this thing where pit bulls attack bears. They, there's a there's a sport I forgot bear what the baiting name. Or bear baiting. Yeah. It's a terrible thing. I saw it. It bust. It messed me up. Um, baby seal club, and I saw it once when I was a kid, and it, that messed me up. Um, this new, this new polar bears. Oh, drowning. The drowning, drowning yeah. polar bears. Global warming. Horrible. Because they can't. They know where to it? sit. They, they, there's icebergs that they swim from icebergs because of global warming. They can't get to a stable iceberg, so they just drown in the water. They can't swim. There's nowhere to go. Right. They just know where to be. And so polar bears just get in the water and just swim to their death. Horrible. Is there a fourth one? I think that's three. Clubbing, What's the other one? Dog Clubbing, fighting. dog fighting, and actual well, dog fighting. But that's not. What you know. about the uh, the 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 free range food as opposed to uh, where they put the chickens in a little little box where they? I'm gonna be move. quite honest with you. There's you certain care. animals that, that get eat. no sympathy. Chickens is one. What about veal? Veal is terrible. I yeah. stop eating veal just because of where they make veal. Yeah. Um, they make veal by making. Have stand in a box yeah. and not move. And anemic, they make them anemic. So it's, it's milk a weird fed, thing. Milk fed, so anyway, I I stopped I stopped getting these. I just didn't want to have an animal. It bothered me too much. But now I got this poodle, and I'm trying to figure out how to get it to. Uh, I don't know what's going on, dude. Now <laughs> it's a and stump brain. You got a poodle. Yeah. Now the poodle's five months or something, and we and we can't take it out quite yet because. Um, it hasn't had all its shots, so we're going to get its shots, get it fixed and all that. And right now we're wee-wee padding it. <laughs> now, some people. <laughs> I just can't hear you say that oh, phrase. Oh, man, yeah. I used to, boy. The pimp boy. Oh, I used hear to about do this. threesomes every week, <laughs> and now I'm wee-wee padding it. Mm. <laughs> You're wee-wee pad training. I'm, pl I'm plotting the death of my girl. <laughs> She's dead. I'm going to have to kill her. I already know what I'm gonna do too. You pillow, know I'm for pillow it. over the head with a with two silences. <laughs> I won't even pull the pillow off. I'll duct tape the pillow over so I don't see her <laughs> poor face. <laughs> Which, by the way, I used to wonder why um, a lot of I used to. This is president president of racism. President of racism. Why white guys kill their wives? Mm. I used to go, why don't you just leave them, white guy? What are you killing your wife for? What does she do to you? So ultimately, I realized what it was. One day I wanted to leave my girl for no other reason except for I was on the radio with that Dr. Z. It was a girl, lady named Dr. Z, and we was on the radio. And I said, Dr. Z, mm, you look like you taste like pineapple juice, right? And so when I get home, my girl's like, why are the women tasting like pineapples? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I looked at her like, you, you know, you're not to interfere ever with what I say on the radio. I don't care what I say. Mm -hmm. This is... How you got your shoes, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. So shut your face. So I'm looking at her like, you know what? I already want a 21-year-old to run around here naked for no reason. <laughs> and you're starting to bug me. I don't want to look at your head. The size of your head starting to bug me. 
And I was getting ready to, I said, brace yourself. And she stood in the, in the doorway of the, of, the, of the bathroom, and uh, she made a face like um, like she knew this was, this was it. Mm-hmm. Like, not necessarily that I was leaving, but love was going to leave her life. <laughs> like, just love in general. Mm-hmm. And I looked at her, and she had that welling up eye, and I said, uh, I said, you lucky. I love you. Because I'd rather you be dead than to break your heart. <laughs> I'd rather a train hit you <laughs> than to watch you cry for something that I did. Mm. So you better be lucky I got feelings for you. And that is one of the most romantic things you've ever said. <laughs> we Good got, morning, fellas. We got uh, morning, one of the cleavage please. girls still on the couch. We're calling them the cleavage <laughs> girls. girls. They don't really want to talk on air, but they, uh, they're here to look pretty for they're us, l- I guess. Lovely ladies from the Hard Rock. They're here, here to New be York objectified. City. Yes. Yes, is there any other reason for them to be here? Well, Cleavage is in this year, and I couldn't be happier. When was Cleavage Yeah, out? when was it out? No, all the articles are saying it's it's really in this year. Have you been walking around the streets of New York? It, it's more noticeable this year than, than past summers. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to shut up. I don't even know how to make this not bleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I noticed throughout all the years I've been alive, that you notice the girls that are showing a lot of cleavage, so you, it's almost well, here, like by default every year is well. Here's year. the problem. Here's the problem. This is why. This is why you notice that it's it's more than usual. Mm-hmm. Like average girls are feeling brave enough to do the cleavage thing this summer. Oh, really? And the girls that have the really over the top freckly cleavage area and just just cleavage areas that should be. Covered up. Covered up? Yeah. They're f- feeling free and exposing? Yeah, it's kind of like when the, uh, you know, the low-rise uh, jeans mm-hmm. came out and became, you know, very popular. At first, it was just like the, the supermodel. Right. And then, like... Uh, nice the, slender girls. Slender girls. And then it becomes so popular that every girl jumps on board and decides, okay, I, my my uh, my ass looks good in these as well. And my body's good enough for <laughs> and this. And you get some horror shows. And you get the at. muffin top. <laughs> yeah, the mu- I love the muffin top. <laughs> now, does she wear that because it's in style? No, she she wants uh, better. I mean, is this is this a? I'm saying is the way she's dressed. Is this a, a like you said? Is it a style thing? Like it's in, this or is, is she just because she does it? This is more to get uh, better tips. She's a bartender. So during the day you wear sweaters or whatever, because you don't want to be defined by your cleavage, right? No, this is this is what I'd wear like during the day. During the day, you look like a dude. Mm. Whatever, yeah. yeah. Mm. Whether I'm working or I'm not, I'm walking down the street. How do you want to be defined? Well, <laughs> well, it's not like I'm going to be able to have a conversation with someone. So, yeah, when I'm walking down the street, I want to look good. I'm yeah, but how do you want to be defined? Down. Defined, right? Defined? As a woman. As a woman? Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> She's as dumb as a branch, and I. that's why I love her. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a lot of pressure to talk. Oh, God bless her. That's why we're calling her cleavage just girl. Just cleavage it up, baby. Just stay it's objectified. Like be like, we, I like her. We had two cleavage girls. Now we're down to one. So the other but, one left. The other one has a has this the, the shoulders of dignity. <laughs> but she, <laughs> she has some weird integrity I don't like. And are you timi- intimidated by the two girls from the Bunny Ranch that showed up? No, not at all. Because they're showing a little more than your show. That's okay. They're walking around in just uh, panties and, and bras. That's okay though. Stop. Stop. I bet you do just fine at the bar. I really do. Like yeah. I don't, yeah. I'm not intimidated name, by name other two chess cleavage. pieces. I, I don't know. I heard you talking about that before. I don't Good know girl. That. That's what I'm talking about. Stop. Pretty enough to deal with those two. Trust me. You Thank have you. like a Long Island regular girl look. Those girls Thank are. You. A lot of guys don't like girls that look like that. The tall, not only super duper yeah, looking yeah. girls. Not only does she have good cleavage, you know she gets scrap. Yeah, she's something real about her. Yeah, you, she can scrap. Yes, yes. Please <laughs> dive across the bar and take care of some guy that's giving her a little trouble. I had a, I had a theory if I was blessed to be a young woman that I would be a whore so no one wanted me no more. I would make millions of dollars till I was 45, and then I would better myself when nobody wanted me. <laughs> and then I would learn a skill. Go to skill. school at 45, yeah. yeah. Wow. I want to better myself. I got a $10 million, took advantage of my sexuality, 
and then bam. Does we, that make that sense? is a hell of a plan if you were abroad. <laughs> if I was abroad, I'd be like, here you we, go. We did that show. We all uh, talked about what, what kind of broad we would be yeah. if we were abroad. <laughs> it was pretty funny, man. I think we all decided we were going to be whores. <laughs> I think I said I wanted to be kind of uh, like a tease. You want to be a, a tease? tease? Yeah. yeah. You'd be coy. I would, <laughs> yeah. I would bring the property value down to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if any woman didn't give up none, they go, boy, is this slut Patrice that will give you some for a glass of water? And it, it don't even have to be spring. <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to meet Bear next. Uh, yep. The girls from the Bunny Ranch, Patrice, are here because we're giving a lucky father a trip to the Bunny Ranch for Father's Day. Right. And the guy for Bear. A date. The guy as Bear. They say. There, there's the other cleavage girl. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, wow, see, she just stopped us in our tracks. Yeah. What, what she were looks we like she about? has hopes and dreams. <laughs> <laughs> What's your hopes? What's, how do you want to be defined, beautiful, in your life? I'm sorry, what? How do you want to be defined? Um, Good girl. Another <laughs> idiot. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there my go. God. It's nothing better than that, dude. They're not ready to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, can we can we call them idiots like right here? Or is, just, is that yeah, subjugation? No, you don't have to worry about that. Can, yeah. I'm just playing good right, talk. No, no offense. Right I find that to be very sexy. You don't need to, that's what you gorgeous. Take advantage of that. Because we're going to, no matter what you do, that's what we're going to think of you anyway. So just be bigger than that. Okay, I will. You know what I'm saying? All right. Name two chess pieces. <laughs> Um, the horse and... Good girl! <laughs> Cuckoo! That's what I'm talking about. Good girl! Little sexy nincompoops. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, sir. For fishing these two, uh... Good girl! <laughs> the horsey. The horsey? And the thingamajig. <laughs> oh, hey. The X and the O. Hey, speaking of which, uh, this, this makes sense here. Uh, Wally from Harrison, New Jersey. Oh, my God, you guys got to see Jill Nicolini's fun bags today. Oh, we were really talking nice. about that in the office. Uh, the the uh, the traffic girl here in New York City. She does uh, local traffic for Channel Eleven, and uh, she's trying to find conservative outfits in her closet, and she just can't. Good luck. So she, I think what she does is she she finds two slutty outfits and puts them together to make one conservative outfit. But it's not working because you can no. still just see all of her wares, <laughs> and it just it annoys the anchor woman to no end. The anchor woman and uh, Linda Church, we love her. She's a fan of the show, but she's getting. Uh, She's getting uh Don't say a, it. Don't, she's getting a bit up there Don't in say years it. and she knows it. She's a fan of the show. Yesterday Girl. Jill Nicolini's uh traffic outfit. Oh, oh she has they have her doing traffic like it's weather. Yeah. Because it's like beginner traffic, a, a beginner weather, I guess. You do the little traffic, and then they move you into the, the weather position. But that never happened on TV. They they would do weather like that in that format. But traffic was always done by either the helicopter or, you know, uh, a big fat guy just kind of sitting in a room with TV monitors. And he would tell you what the traffic is. Yeah. But she's doing it like standing up like you would in front of a weather map. Yeah. She's standing in front of a bunch of uh, uh, animated streets. And uh, little animated cars that are driving by and telling you where the, the jam-ups are. Yeah. There's no reason for her to do that, no. aside from the fact that she looks great and they just want to put her yeah, they're uh, on TV. They're, they're getting her ready to be the weather girl. It's yeah. so obvious. And Linda Church knows that. And the other morning, uh, Jill Nicolini was wearing something just completely ridiculous, yeah. like a tight-fitting like uh, sort of light sweater thing. And yeah. everyone's eyes were just staring at Jill uh, in the office. And then they went to Linda Church to do the weather. And we've been in that studio. Linda Church kept m having her eyes move all the way to the left as she's trying to do her weather report because she's still looking at Jill Nicolini going, how the hell is she getting away with this what is she on wearing? TV? What is she wearing? You think she just comes in because, for the most part, you only see her from the waist up, that she's just wearing little boy shorts? <laughs> <laughs> just killing everybody in there, the cameramen. And none of the executives are going to tell her no. not to just come in and She should be shorts. able to wear whatever she wants. Harumph, 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 harumph. Give her a promotion. I like that girl. She's got spunk. She's on the fast track to be an anchor woman. <laughs> she, oh, yeah. She doesn't seem like to... Seems to be that bright. <laughs> <laughs> Passing a lot of judgment on the intelligence of pretty women hey, today. Man, she's a Long Island broad. We love them. You uh, know, anyone you... from Long Island? No. Yeah, you are. Yeah, what town? There you go. Uh, East Islip. East Islip. Wow. Come on. I live there. Patrice. Bear Den. Meet Bear. 
We we got cleavage girls meet bear. Bear Bear. Ranch girls meet bear. Uh, This guy, uh, no offense, bear, but but pretty desperate. He's uh, Mm -hmm. married with four kids. He's got the big house. He's got the wife still. Hasn't had sex in 12 years because... uh, Wait, you're married and you haven't had sex in 12 years? Yeah, my wife and I haven't slept together in 12 years. Not even slept in the same bed, right? No. No, there's too many cats. And there's an update on the cats. You said 15, 3, and then I tried to get rid of them. They found their way home. Oh, no. 18 Uh, cats. so 18 cats. Wait, so the 18 cats just roam the house? They roam the house. Uh, say, go out in the yard. They, they roam the neighborhood. Oh, that's so you married the, the cat lady? So you'd give your yeah. neighbors yeah. a BB gun. That's what cat, you do. You know? Yeah. When they roam the neighborhood. She feeds me, if she feeds me. Bear, what do you think oh. of these girls? Like, you, these are potentially some girls. My heart's pounding right now. <laughs> are you, are you well, yeah. uh, I'm yeah. pounding right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm pounding. Pound. Patrice. And we had his <laughs> wife like on. That. I know, look at uh, this. Is, I knew this would get to Patrice. Oh, just wait. We Patrice. had his wife on the on the show a few days ago. Yeah, last Friday. And, uh, last Friday. Yeah. And uh, she's like, yeah, if Bear wants to go to the Bunny Ranch, I'll, I'll welcome him home and, uh, with a big hug. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, dude. You have a, wow. you have a very, like, you could be in the mob type of look. You have a very, like, uh, a tough guy thing that you can ride. That I don't understand why you just said forget life. Like, why is life done for you? Why do you stay with a, the cats and the chick? Get out of there. Well, because my four daughters. Kids. I, I, yeah. It's How the old kids. is the youngest? Twelve. So, and that was the last time he had sex. Jesus, man. Their wow. conception it's was just, the last time. It's all about my daughters. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to, like... I know we're not on Oprah, so I don't want to get deep like that. But it's I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, but not, see, that's his problem. See, he's a dude, dude. You know? But you should get deep like. If my kid needs a band aid. I want to be there to put it. You on. have you know, a, I, just, I want that yeah. male figure around. You I'm definitely. Around. If, if I were you, your wife would need a lot of band aids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's had one over her crotch for twelve years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say he definitely has a has a, 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 a fetal <laughs> position cry in him. Yeah, you know, like it's, uh, he's a nice it's guy. Not, though. It's not easy, you know. I, I, you know, I work hard. I take care of my kids, but basically in my relationship, I'm a paycheck. You know. Did you? Oh. Do you have the basement done up? Is the basement done? Where well, she actually has the den downstairs. That's her room. I sleep in a room. Can you I, bring women home I, if you want? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't disrespect my kids. No, like no, no. That. I'm just saying, sneak them up. You know, you know, don't care what I do. I mean, about three in the morning, Patrice. Babe. No, it's not even about that. He's he's had opportunities to cheat and he will not do it. Wow. So not even bringing girls well, over you know what it is? to the house. He could do this to try else. to get a relationship going with somebody. Now you're taking money away from the kids, you know. And well, we're not talking relationship. Yeah, well. <laughs> I, I don't well, even if we all it. pay for it. You all, you men all pay for it somehow. So I see what he's saying. Look you, at you this. That's true. Right. Angry, angry mess over here. <laughs> I'm in love with her. You just wait for me to take it all out. That's true. Oh, oh, you. But she's right. If it's just out to dinner, <laughs> and, and yeah, you need like to that. be strapped. You need to be strapped to our bed with our sports sheets and whip profusely. That's what you. Wow. Excuse me. I said you need to be strapped to our bed with our sports sheets and whip profusely. You need my giant black hands around that. Ponytail, getting <laughs> reparations for slavery. <laughs> we can do that afterwards. <laughs> so, so the only thing I'm concerned with, I mean, Bear is a great candidate. This is our Father's Day uh, giveaway. Uh, Lucky Father's going to the Bunny Rancher for, for two days, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's losing his compulsion, it. boy. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And your wife did say, we got the tape. She don't care. She doesn't care. She don't care. I just don't want to give you a great trip, and then you come back, and all of a sudden you're you're facing a divorce, and that's it just wrecks happen. your life. That's Stop the press. Tr- that's all right, happen. Patrice. Uh, Stop Patrice, the let's go. Think about right. it. Even if it did. Hold on, Bear. I love this How guy. How much more damage can be done? Exactly. But yeah. his 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 story has a problem here. What? The kid. You're on radio. Talking about how you get ready to go to the Bunny Ranch and do your thing at the Bunny Ranch. Your kids have radio. This is what I'm saying. The whole thing where I'm a great guy. You're getting ready to go to the Bunny Ranch, which is a... It's a, it's a, it's a cat house. It's a cat house. It's a brothel. <laughs> well, so it's like... Yeah. I know you're not using his real name, but it's like if, you, if your kids heard it, they'd be like, that's daddy. Is so it, why not get a square broad to just come on up and sneak up every couple of days and, and do the square thing? Because they're drama. Because we're professionals and we do <laughs> it better. Oh. He probably told his daughter he's going away like the guys years. were doing there no, in prison. Told, like I was away working for the government, honey. He'll just say he's going <laughs> away for work. Yeah, yeah. I'm with Fick. <laughs> yeah. no, the kids think it's just a, a, a trip to Las Vegas. Yeah, Bunny Ranch right, sounds no, like a fun place with rabbits and Easter-oriented you know. things. We raise you know, furry little bunnies for kids with cancer. You know how many calls we get on Easter to call and see if we have bunnies for sale? 
Yeah. yeah. It's mm-hmm. ridiculous. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, we do. I just don't want him to suffer after this. Yeah, that's what we're, that's He's the only He's suffering right we now. Have. The man I'm, hasn't had sex in 12 years. That's suffering. Right, Bunny Ranch girls, <laughs> so talk to Bear a little bit here, will you? I think these two days at the Bunny Ranch are going to make up for at least or... You know, you made up for about seven it. years right now, just looking at you right now. Well, oh. for the next, I just don't <laughs> the next ten how years afterwards. Years without, hey I mean, there wasn't any I'm point in time up. where you were like, <laughs> <laughs> if I was married and I wasn't getting laid, I'd be like, no, you have to have sex with me. You, you have, have to. No, I'm gonna rape right, you. Hold now. on, you I didn't hear, you didn't would, hear the wife. You didn't hear yeah. her. We heard her on the phone, yeah. and she is miserable. Yeah. She all she would talk about was uh, taking care of the kids and her big house. And then we said, we actually asked her, do you love bear? And she went, ah. and then and then it was like, why? Said so why does we'll why don't you, you give him some some sex because it's so. your you know marital duty or something like that? And she was like, she goes, because I don't need it, I don't want it. Is she makeover sexy? Like if you she's supposedly one of those... a good looking uh, lady. Cause she, I thought she, you saw her. She, no. I thought no. she, oh, oh. she she explained her she explained herself. And it's only fair. <laughs> she's a very good mother. What? Oh. Where did it all go wrong, though, Bear? We still can't get to the, the bottom of that. One we of tried for an hour the other day, uh, last week, and we kids still don't know. Kids ruin everything. It's, it just went out the window. It's just uh, we had the kids, and mm. she just didn't want to give it up anymore. She lost total interest. You know, and then you, you fight about that and things that. You know, I would send her flowers at work when she was working. I, I would get yelled at for that. Yo, you're wasting money. Uh, okay. you know. oh, hey, oh. Can I, hey, let me add, by the way, because we got into his wife's uh, deal. She's not seeing anybody else, doesn't want to see anyone no. else, and doesn't even uh, take care of herself. She was raised she religious. Has no so, so religious. It could, so it could be a physical thing that's going on. She has on with no her. want for sex no want. whatsoever. No, it's religious. She was raised so very religiously, she said, and she was uh, that crap was drilled into her. She doesn't. And, and like didn't sex. she say she's had three guys in her life and yeah. bears in third place? Yeah, that's, <laughs> oh, that's right. She had three no, guys no, in her I'm entire in uh, sexual she, experience. About the guy from the bus station, you know? <laughs> oh. 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 She, I feel Patrice, she, yeah, three guys. I'm already taking Patrice, Bear in the bathroom she, and yeah. take care of him. Patrice, <laughs> poor guy. Yeah. yeah, we're catching a flight at one. Can he just come back with us? Yeah, <laughs> well, we're, really... we're going to another place in about an hour that we could get some things done. <laughs> if you yeah. guys are serious. So don't even mess with us with this. But she, his wife had three serious. men in her entire <laughs> sexual career. And then we said, uh, you know, what place he comes in. And uh, third, I tell you out why. of the three guys, because of flowers and he, yeah. he was he's you're the least favorite. You know why? Because you're the best dude. The mm. other two guys treated her like garbage, and that's why she's in love. You are, you're a good dude. It's time to do a little living for yourself, Big Bear. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, mm-hmm. after you do this this thing over here, this situation here, I will, get I'm some praying. old broad from Long Island who ain't getting it from her husband and smash her. You understand? <laughs> Bring her upstairs. Forget the kitty stuff. The 12-year-old is probably dancing somewhere, showing her butt. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. You should <laughs> stop this nonsense. You don't have to suffer. Bring it. You're br- not Jesus. Br- You're some dude from Long Island with a faded tattoo who needs to have sex. Bring, Are you all right? Bring someone home and do it right on your right. daughter's I'm telling toys. you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some lonely Long Island broad. Right. Some lonely broad who thought it was all going to be okay when she was young, and now she's a mess, but she's a sexy mess. Take yep. it to a bear. I'm telling you, man. Forget this. We, we, we're we really feeling for bear. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, we got Mike in Paramus. Uh, Mike, you're on the Opie and Anthony show. What's up? Hey, guys. Um, there's, there's nobody else that deserves it more than this guy. I'm sitting in my car wondering, like, what the heck do, do all these guys deserves a, a treat like this and after listening to this story you, you gotta give it to him yeah what else like could somebody come up with and and well have we a got better more we got josie's uh dad uh, and i think josie and his dad uh, bring them in because uh, this story is amazing too <laughs> but bear was so excited <laughs> to come to be able to give this gift to my father but he he, he at least has sex with my mother yeah ew <laughs> <laughs> hey, who doesn't? Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> right, out, guys. All right, man. And There's actually we're... tears in here right now. People look at yeah, yeah, yeah. People are getting all distance, choked like, up. Like, man, There's kind of like oh, tears. I hope in... that's not me in the future. Hold on. Bear is like shaking his head and it looks like you're getting a little teary-eyed. What's no, up? I'm not, you all right? No, I'm all right. And Bear was so all excited right. to come in today. No, it's just that it's funny that, that 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 this contest came up because like five six months ago. Hold on, Bear. I don't want to interrupt you, but Mel Carmerson just 
just walked in. <laughs> I was going to say, I, 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 hope, I hope you don't give Captain Kangaroo <laughs> the trip. There's no way his story can be worse. <laughs> there's no way. All right, let's find way. out. I don't know. The bad there's stories. no way that the skipper from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> hey, 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 George Kennedy. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, of course, Midget Fingers got it. That was Rich Boss. Moss. George he whispered it to me. That is it. And I stole it. Hey, Boss, find yeah, a mic. That's a good one. We There's ran no way mic, somebody that looks like George Kennedy. Yeah, George yeah. Kennedy. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> boss, get some get close to the mic. <laughs> Sit with the Bunny Ranch girls if you have to. That's Bonnie your will son, understand. Sir? You need a mic. He looks scared. <laughs> all right. Look how good looking his son is. He's scared. Yeah, well, it's yeah. Bunny Ranch. All right, oh, Things uh, happen. All right hold on. some of your girls' Hold on, Patrice. Hold on. So we got Joe C. Joe B. Baby. Joe, Joe B. B. Joe yeah. B. All right, Joe B. And that's your dad. Yeah. All right. What's the story, Joe B. First uh, of all, how old are you? I'm 21. 21. That's your dad. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Uh, when I was like eight, eight or nine, I caught my mom cheating on him, and uh, I came home and told him, let him know, and because of me, he stayed in the house. He kept her in the house. He sleeps on the couch in the other room. So oh. since I'm eight, he's been alone just for my sake. You know, to, to keep me happy, to keep again, my mom happy. Again, the kids. You should have brought your daughters in because this is changing me up. <laughs> yeah. Gee, what God, up? the sacrifices uh, oh, no. some people make for not these only that, kids. Is he still can't. with her still? Yeah, but well, you got to remember, not, not with, Bear lives but, with cats. Yeah. But you're 21 yeah. now. Yeah. Well, now it's I guess in girls, well, now, girls now, wouldn't bring their dad in and say, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Everyone's talking. We got to <clears throat> say yeah. that. Go ahead, Joe. Bitch. At the end of all this? At the end of all this now, she's divorcing him and trying to take all his money from him. <laughs> well, that's oh, always a good thing. And this is your mother. This is my mother. Oh. Do you live with her? or She lives in the house. She sleeps in the house. Oh, right. You're still all in the same house. That must be a happy situation. Oh. Let's talk to Dad. Yeah. Dad, what's going on? Yeah. It's touch and go. Yeah, touch and go, all right. Mostly go, no touch. Oh, so she's going to uh, uh, file for divorce. And, um, she did already, yeah. She did already. And did she drain your bank account? No, she's trying, but, you know. Jeez. Yeah, good luck with that. Really has to, well, you know. Let me tell you, it's yeah. a load of laughs. Was she, bringing guys... really... <laughs> was she bringing guys home the whole time? No. Okay. She, no. Was, she was with one guy for like five years. So how did you catch her cheating on him? Yeah, yeah let's get back to Joe B. Well, when I, was, when I was younger, I used to go to her job with her a lot. Like in the summer, she used to tell me about this guy that worked with her. <clears throat> bring me presents from her. Are you sure she wasn't working? What? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, and, you know, she used to just, one day she just came out and told me it. And, you know, like, since then, he's been, like, the mother and the father. He Why would she everything. tell you? What? Why she, would by the way, I'm cheating on your dad. Like, yeah. cheating. She was just like, there's this guy that I see. I see him. And I was, a young, I was you know, a young kid then. I didn't understand. An eight-year-old? She said, there's this guy that yeah, she sees? Guy you had to understand, like, wow. like strange at eight. No, she probably he, she probably was saying there's a guy that you'll see around, or she was probably trying to set up in case the, the uh, he saw it. She goes, "This is uh, the okay. friend I told you about." Right, the right. Yeah, that's gotcha. What it was. And then you went, and, and I went right away. You had some sense and went and ratted and out to like, dad. Yeah. yeah, he loves his father too. He got tattoos in the same yeah. places, and he loves dad. Got, dad, I met your they brother. They got father, father, son <laughs> tats and everything. Here. Oh, well, man. Yeah, he has all these new uncles all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> dad, your brother. <laughs> looks a little Spanish. <laughs> oh, Meet Uncle Leroy. And, and he must tan a lot, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here because you're tired of your father's cavalier, like, just loser attitude. You're trying to get your dad some, some, no, some spark, that, right? He has a good attitude. No, I mean, just you want, you tired, you want your dad to be doing. Yeah, I doing, want him to go out and have his fun. And you don't your, have to worry about me. Your dad's, right. a man, right. your dad's a man. Right. He should be able to uh, go out well, uh, and, and, and spend some time with a nice uh, young lady. As a man. Let's but, find and, out and, about uh, Dad. Let's talk to Dad a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so, you can tell his attitude, though. Look. Are, are, he's, I, just, he's trying to be this cool thing, yeah. but he's just like... He did the right thing. Almost too. defeated. He, he did oh, the right thing for his that. son, I guess. Yeah. You know? I'm not that old. Oh, okay. No, I mean defeated, <laughs> like, kind of like, God, I've been in a crappy situation no, for a while. Be, everything comes to an end. You finally yeah. won now, so... Yeah. You know. have you Have you taken care of uh, business on the side, or...? So, uh, with someone or yeah. <laughs> look at that. Oh, Jesus, these wow. squares. Yeah, wow. yeah, have you gotten some strange? Have you gotten a, a while? A, 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 a AIDS uh -huh. scare or something? Anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> they close the senior citizens' home. I'm oh, oh man, he just. Out.
Yeah. Do you like these girls, though? Do you think they're attractive? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have the same hair color. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, he doesn't even know where to put his hands. Bear. Bear. Bear is completely enamored. Bear's like, dude, I'm not even going to try to be cool. He's still trying to maintain his coolness from the 60s like he's still in Al's Diner and on Happy Days. But he's just like, Al's he's the diner. same way. He's, he's, he, yeah. Bear needs it. He wants it. His son needs his father to have it. He wouldn't mind, but Bear needs it. Yeah, Bear's going to... Yeah. He lives with cats. But I think this guy needs yeah. it more than you think, Crazy though. cat really? lady. He has a different personality. Yeah, definitely. He needs it more than you think, because he's got... His hands are folded. They're behind him. He's he, he needs it badly as well. He just doesn't want to come off as desperate in front of his son, either. Well, we're going to have some questions. He's like, I'll come off desperate. What you are you talking about? Might be a good, uh, <laughs> well, let's talk to the son again yeah. for t a couple of seconds. Do you... Knowing your dad as well as you do, you guys are very close. <laughs> And looking at these girls, would, is this your dad's type? Yeah. This is anyone's type, right? <laughs> like, no, yeah. he, would like, he, would like, he would love to spend some time with these ladies. And right. Joe B gets girls like that all the time. Like, the, he he gets, you got good looking chicks, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah look at this guy. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, whatever. This guy's got some out. game, right? Yeah, yeah, Joe, yeah. Room, Joe gets seasoned. Yeah. How bring, many girls bring, have you? Like, share oh, with yeah, your dad, you selfish bastard. Joe B, do you at least leave your door open a little bit so dad can take a peek? Uh, well, you're, you're 21 now, so why don't you go out to the bars and bring somebody home with you? You know, bring somebody for you and somebody for dad here. Get a cougar. Do me a favor. You, go, you go set, up, set, set up a Every cougar. Every girl has that friend that you're trying to uh, distract. Every girl goes out with that friend you need to distract so that you can get, get, her, I, get her. So give the dad the distraction. Have you ever taken care of yourself to to your son's activities? His girls. Like you ever, His girls. Ever, meaning you ever peek in and go, I'm gonna, I got to finish myself. No, when I go up in his room, there's usually like a... <laughs> pair of thongs hanging from the Al Pacino puzzle. Oh. You know, things like that. <laughs> otherwise. All right, hey, hey Pacino uh, puzzle. Uh, All right, uh, Tony uh, Manero. There's, yeah, you know. there's a hole in the Mona Lisa's eye. <laughs> yeah. In the next room, the girl's going, is that eye moving? <laughs> this, 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 he has a picture of an eye rock Z, and it's just, the hubcaps cut out, and he's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boss, why would he have a picture of Mona Lisa in his room? It's a 21-year-old player. And boss has him with a... Uh, Picture of the Mona Lisa. Oh, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't know any band after the Drifters. You really are. It was almost brilliant. It was almost. like the concept of it was <laughs> great. great. But, I'm trying oh. to change it to I Rock Z to make it make yeah, sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, hey, what, what we're getting at, Joey, uh, Joe B, you got you got to return the favor for your dad. You got to get him some action on your own. If, yeah. if this doesn't work out today, yeah. you got to bring yeah. an extra girl home or at least keep your your door wide open. He so how to use peak. the internet, something. Yeah, you got yeah. something in return. You don't, none of the girls you mess with have sing, uh, uh, single parents? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like that. A little weird. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever <laughs> looked weird. into mail order brides? Huh? Mail order bride. Ah, yeah. Mail order bride. I don't bride. think dad even wants that. He's like, bride? He's like, He's, I'm talking sex. I'm not talking marriage. But, you know, they're really handy. You can keep them in the closet, bring them out when you need yeah. them. They cook, clean. Yeah. Little, dust, little dusty, little dusty Czechoslovakian girl. Yeah. Coming in from... <laughs> hey, Bear's getting nervous over there. The listeners are, are chiming in on the phones and the answer feedback like crazy. They're like, oh, don't forget about Bear. Don't forget no, about Bear. I, I stand with his cat. He, Bear, I'm telling you, his his aura. Is he needs it, dude? He's down and out. He is. He's I can't. I love these this, these guys, but dude, you gotta get bear something. Dude. They're both shaped like the fetal position. That's how much pain they're in. <laughs> you know, you know, it's actually, you know, what it, these guys got going for him is you. You can almost by talking live vicariously through your son's yes. life a, a little bit. Bear has nothing. He, he, he has can't nothing. have his daughter. He's, 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 he's got to sit something. and listen to uh, about like the twelve-year-old girl stuff. But that's where. But hold on. But hold on. That guy yeah. got cheated on. And also, living through your son is also more frustrating because you see what could be. Yeah. That's frustrating when you watch that's a young true. kid bringing home really hot chicks. At least Bear just says, ah, my daughters are doing good. I'll focus on this. And, yeah, I don't He's think... got to see these hot broads that he knows his son and is And I don't think yeah. Bear's wife cheated on you, right? No. Never. No. I, the okay. cheating thing is, right, the cheating right. thing is a rough one, man. She's cheating, rough one. she's cheating on him with nothing, with nobody, is what she's doing. Right. Mm. Well, well, at least she knows that. 18 the... pussycats running around the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 18 <laughs> I'm leaning like, toward why do you need to come cat. to the cat house? You've got a cat house of your I'm, own. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaning toward uh, George Kennedy myself. Are you really? I think so. The it's cheating thing is a rough one. And then she's still a, in the house? He has and then a, he doesn't do anything about because of his son? That's Opie, rough. I'm t Opie, d d George Kennedy has a, <laughs> he has a getting some vibe, though. <laughs> See, this is the thing. you got to understand. Women ain't like us. 
You can talk and personality your way into something, dude. You still practice having a personality. You try to be funny. You still got your thing. You're chewing gum. You're trying. Well, and Bear he, is, he's getting a divorce, and Bears, he's staying in it. I he's mean, like, chewing so gum funny. goes on his resume. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> he's trying to be uh, like he. Yeah. He, he has a he has a personality <laughs> that I think can get him something. He can charm his way into something yeah. more than I feel Bear could right this second. I don't know Bear that well, but right this second, George Kennedy got some type of charm. Yeah, I can definitely I, see you know him what? getting a hot piece, you know, after the divorce. You know. you know what? Now I'm leaning toward Bear after that explanation. <laughs> it looks like George Kennedy still has a little game in him. Is you what you're saying. Him, Bear didn't smile once. He's <laughs> right. just... Yeah. Bear would go high the divorce, and she would get the Lamborghini. And she can and sit chloroform. shotgun. Bear, Bear, Bear is like the scene The Vanishing where Sandra Bullock goes in. I just want to show you something in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, Bear, has a, Bear carries a fake cast with him. What are you like? A, what are you a twelve? Size fourteen. About fourteen. Size 14. <laughs> Mom, uh, maybe you can help me with this couch. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> All right, listen, we got a break. I so, don't love that guy. Any other fathers here, or is it down to these two? All right, it's down to these two. Oh, it's either George Kennedy or Bear. Wait. Bear, talk to your wife. Hi, honey. Hey, what's up? Not much. Just uh, having a lot of fun. Nice people up here. A couple of beautiful yeah. girls. And okay. Beautiful girls. Kit Kat so, Club. You enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Good for you. All right. You. How's that? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, go ahead. Actually, I was calling about the tickets for the concert yet for oh, tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, you want to go to the show tomorrow? Yeah, that's what I was actually calling about. Yeah, I was calling about. Doesn't she sound like that girl that Tony Monero danced with in Saturday Night Fever? Uh, uh, you, you know, I bet if you help Bear coffee? out, he might get you tickets. I'm, I'm sniffing her out right now. All right. Uh, what, Bear? Ask her. So are you going to take Bear? Are you going to take Bear to the show tomorrow? It's just about yeah. dancing. Yeah. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One person. Too many things going on. I, uh, she, let her answer on the phone. Are you going to take Bear to the show? No, I'm taking the kids. Uh, what about your husband? Don't you want to please him and, yeah. and tend to those needs that he has? Do you have a husband? No, but I tend to plenty of men's okay. needs. Twelve of them. Yeah. I mean, if I, I don't have Opie, a husband. Why are you, hold on, hold on. I have a husband. Let's I didn't want to please. put it this way. Please. It's women like Louise like, that are yeah, keeping much. these girls in business. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank true. you. Thank God for women like you. Louise. <laughs> All you do. Or don't do. All right, wait, wait. So, Louise, why are you asking these girls if they have a husband? I'm sorry? Why are you asking these girls if they have a husband? Good question. Because they don't know what it's like until they have one. Do you well, have no, a husband? But I, I mean, I know that several hundred. I know that I'm not going to get married if, unless I want to have sex with the person. Yeah, I got to yeah, tell you. Wouldn't... Aren't you husband? Hey, Louise, I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, we serve husbands every day. Everybody sweetie. is my man, baby. <laughs> yeah, I got. I got. We're the best wife. All right, there, enough of you parrots. All right, listen. I like these two. They're giving it to us. All right, listen, Louise. Louise. Uh, we all have met Bear. He seems like an unbelievable guy and a and a really oh, he nice is father. Unbelievable. <laughs> very a nice, gentleman. very nice father. Okay. Very nice uh, husband. He uh, supplies uh, the money, I guess, for the family. And uh, you kind of don't uh, give him what you should be giving him. She's abusive. No comment. Yeah. She's a, she calling in trying to act like she wants tickets. She was calling in because he's about to get a drop of self-esteem, so she had to call in to make sure that he, she's going to subjugate his soul again. Do you treat her too good, Bear? She likes being treated like garbage. Louise, her last name should be Fletcher. I'm telling you. You hear her You're silence? A joke. Uh, and you see what that's what she came up with? You like to get smacked around, don't you there, Wheezy, yep. or whatever your name is. Dude, Bear, I'ma tell you. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's protective of her. Just get out of that zone, Bear. I'm telling you, dude. Bear finally lost his stutter and she came in yelling and he got it back. Yep. And he and he and he's sitting there, she just subjugate Oh, I want tickets. Oh, you really you call right at when your husband's on the radio for tickets? Why not yesterday? Why not the day before? Did you call? No. Why don't you go pet your cats? And I hope you love you. Bear, if you hang out with me, dude, you'll forget about you. I'm telling you. Stop what you're doing, dude. She's abusive. 
Louise, why not a divorce? She's not a. She's not abusive. Oh, okay, okay. Right, let Bear talk. Let Bear talk. protective. Actually, uh, she's a. Men she's a. She's. A, she's orgasms could... is healthy, so that is abusive to to withhold that relief. That's right. It's not good for the uh, prostate. He's, yeah. he's right. the sole provider of her and her cats. Of course, she's not going to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. She takes very. She Thank takes you. very good care of the. Ch she's very. She's a great mother. All right, and what about I'm not trying to sound like oh. a martyr or anything, but. That's what's important is the kids, you know. And what about I gotta come, role I mean, I know it, it, it is... sucks that I got to come after the cats, but, you know, that's... Yeah, it does I, suck, you, But you're man. not even coming after the cat. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, actually, I, I, absolutely. I actually think I come after the gerbil, I think. I'm not sure. I, I, it might be after the gerbil. I still want to know what happened with these two. It, it, Abuse. Lu Louise seems like she's really pissed off at Bear. Maybe something he did way back in the day or something. Nope. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing, Nothing That's Louise? why those other two guys. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt don't here. Don't give her the benefit of the doubt. You can hear it. Her, She's like the the, the child board scratch scene in Jaws all every day. <laughs> Y'all know me. You know I make a living. I ruin men's lives and their self-esteem. <laughs> yeah. She's a good woman. Man. She's a good mother She's to the chick. She's a good mother to the But it's you. We're talking know, about I'm, you. I'm a big boy. I, I you know, I... Yeah. Oh man! Wow, he's 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 just beating. It's like brainwash. He's brainwashed. Ooh, yeah. because, I mean, he's That's what happened. I, her. I mean, I can. I, I yeah. No, I, I got to respect her role as a she's wife. She's the mother of my kids, and I got to respect but that. But she's also I your wife, to. and should be. Yeah, let me ask you a couple questions, here. Yeah, Louise. Mother of my kids. Louise, <laughs> come on in, <laughs> Louise. <laughs> I'm better than. Me. All right, hold on. Let's talk to Louise for a second. Are you are you ever gonna give it up to Bear again? <laughs> What? Can't answer that question. I don't have an answer for you. How do you not have an answer? You're either gonna uh, someday uh, give him uh, what what he's due as a married man or not. I think what she's saying is uh, uh, that sh the answer is no. Yeah. Nope. The answer is no, right? Nope. <laughs> but things could change down the road. No. Huh? Anything is possible. Did you ever Anything get is possible, Curtis. <laughs> Champagne? No, she uh, she don't drink. How about drugs? You no, don't even don't you don't even just think that even if you're not in the mood for sex, you don't even think like this guy's been providing for me and my kids for all these years. I uh, you don't have any sense of obligation to have sex with your husband, like even if, just for him. Ugh. She doesn't. The obligations, a lot of obligations, a lot of responsibility. You don't, but I mean, in 12 years, much. you haven't once thought in 12 years. This guy might need this for his right. feeling good and his well-being. Like, are you thinking of yourself that much? Hmm. Obviously. I mean, I'm the selfish person in the world. You're What's the, that? I am the least selfish person. Well, no, 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 you're 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 you, you no, are see. selfish yeah. because the, you do certain things around the house, work maybe, chores that you don't enjoy doing, but you know it's your your you have to do it. It's kind of your responsibility. That you can, should just consider a chore and a responsibility because your husband might enjoy it and just uh, kind of. Put it in those terms. It's your duty. Yeah, you guys should not be married anymore is what it comes down to. I hate to, I hate to say that. But yeah, consummation of a relationship. I bring can't about wait for the bunny ranch. All right, I can't wait. Louise. I don't think Bear can either. All right, let's, <laughs> let's, let's look into the future here. Uh, Louise, so uh, Bear goes to the bunny ranch in Nevada. He comes home after a wonderful weekend out there. What happens? Nothing changes. She's gonna put him oh, down. Are She's you gonna, gonna probably? Yeah. Go, you I didn't, know. I, I know. Satisfy the prostitutes. You can't even satisfy your prostitute, can you, Bear? Oh, I can't wait till you right. smash it, Bear. I can't wait. <laughs> when right, you see go. what's out there, Bear, baby, big old Bear growling on those. Mmm, delicious. Right, so she's saying nothing will change after a weekend at the Bunny Ranch. I, I, I'm i starting to lean toward George Kennedy again. <laughs> nothing will change. No, I want, I want someone's life ruined because of what we're doing today. Oh, it's going to be ruined. <laughs> what she it's wants. Be ruined well, of course she's going to say nothing's yes. going to change. Yep. Of course she's yes. going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm fine with it. Oh. When I mean, maybe mm. it's just that she feels that she's lacking in her skills, which is why she's not providing yeah. for her. You could come, too. I, I wonder she if she's going to ask how his date went and want details. Uh, are you going to, Louise? We'll make her a tape for training. Louise, are you going to ask specific questions to Bear? Phone my little crap down. Jesus. Louise. I'm here. Are you going to ask Bear questions about his date specifics? Of course, it'll be a good story. 
me something else to do. Yeah. Bear yeah, is, yeah. Good story. Bear is, what's going on over there? You're gritting your teeth. You're like, you're moving your hand real fast. You're you're really mad over there. What's up? No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What it's it? just, it's frustrating. I, th I know yeah, what's going on here. Oh, man. Bear is, Bear is still, frustrated. It's a little much, Bear is still in love with Louise. Mm -hmm. It's very obvious. Yeah. No. It's in, obvious. No, I can see it in, in your love, eyes, no, bro. I, in, in all honesty, I'm not. No, we're not in love. All right. He's uh, loyal to an I, ideology. That's what yeah. they, they're both loyal you go. to a to an idea, right. an idea of family, and they're loyal to that. But that, but bear, you're you're just dying. You understand? You're hey, I'm going like to go sit on that couch. That's, that's what I'm dying that's for. What, look at and get over and, there. Go sit. Go, go sit. sit. And listen to this. This is your husband getting up, Louise, and yeah. sitting next to hotness yes. between them. He's going to go sit in your past. <laughs> <laughs> I, the story better say how far. Oh it went. my God! So now oh, there he goes. Girls in the bunny oh, now he's got yeah. his arms around both of them. Oh, now he looks oh, comfy. Oh, oh, hand on now the leg. Now he looks comfortable. Don't worry, Louise. What, are you, what you're lagging, we'll take care of. Him. We'll make sure. Oh, oh, look at him, happy. He's, he's remembering how to touch a woman now. Look yeah, yeah. He came back <laughs> like riding a hobo. Now, <laughs> <laughs> they, they opened up. I can guarantee you we're up. a better ride than any bicycle. You yeah. We'll take notes for you. Look at, look at Bear's face. It's <laughs> beat red. Man. Oh, look the at him. Blood look at his like lips. You remember this? He head. remembers how sexy he was. Look, look at this Bear. Look at this Bear. Come on. I got, <laughs> I got to ask Bear. I got to ask Bear. What it, when was the last time you actually? touched the woman's arm like that, like her shoulder and stuff. How long? A long time. A long time, long. and really, it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, damn right it is. Isn't that? Look, he's got, and now look, her thigh. You see him what does that feel like? Nice and smooth. Get a yeah. shot, get a rub shot. Rub your hand, like, rub yeah. your hand right on her thigh butt the area there. What's that? Nice, right? Tell the other bear to climb that. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's good stuff, right? Oh, bear, I noticed you crossed your legs. Is that for comfort or embarrassment? Uh, <laughs> we're so happy for him. What's she doing? Yeah. Is she still there? Yeah, Louise is still online. I got Guys, I got and ladies, he's not a bad, bad looking guy, right? Louise, yeah, no, Louise, thank you, Louise. Go thank do you, the laundry. Thank you. Yeah. Go, go, go do your laundry. Go and clean pet the your cat, cat box. <laughs> Feed your cat. Go clean the cat box. Yeah. <laughs> Feed your cats. Go do the laundry and then clean up after your kids. Your husband's here touching an ass. Go, go get your. Go. That's right. Go. And I'm sitting in front of one. Go to <laughs> Rich Boss, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, go to BJ's and buy a, a, a 75 giant, a 75 gallon bag of lump litter. <laughs> <laughs> And some Tide, and go do yeah. something while your, while husband your husband touches soft, young, supple skin. That's right. Oh, look at him. Look at go find a therapist. <laughs> Wrinkle free. <laughs> Wrinkle free. That, Is that slow the... clap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, everybody. You go, Ben. Kennedy over there. I don't, oh, damn. Oh, George Kennedy. I don't like George Kennedy. Wait a minute. With a tear under his eye, you think he's a Latin king. We can't We can't leave this guy out in the cold. As much as I feel for Bear and as much as his wife is the picture of emasculation, <laughs> yes. at least this this abuse victim that he's married to never cheated on him. This guy's wife cheated on him, and the kid told him. So at eight they, years old, the kid told his father. At eight years old, so he should just go out and cheat on her. It's pretty also, much my logic in right, the whole well, situation. Well, well, he could get a he could get a free omelet from the Hard Rock. What can I tell you? Uh, right, there you go. Hey, if you heat it up and roll it the right way. Divorce. I mean, Bear's stuck in this. Uh, I love George Bear's Kennedy too. I don't I want really to see. Do, but I, I don't want to see George. Hey, with George yeah, Kennedy, yeah. the food's free. Have as much as you want. <laughs> Bears could be eating something else. You, you enjoy the omelet. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so, George, I'm so... Wait. I, you, you can enjoy things uh, compliments of the hard rock, and he'll do something that kind of sounds like that. <laughs> I don't think that we should... I don't like leaving him out in the cold like that. He had a real story. I, I, yeah. He had a real story. What is his story? You no, 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 but I mean... He, you hear the ghost of Christmas everything. She's awful. Ruining 
his life. <laughs> but right. His story, we just don't have the wife with him. Like we have his son, who's like a good-looking guy, tells the story well, but you can't see his his awful pain as much. But as the wife, but well, let's be honest, his wife Bear has, is freeing him. Yeah. His wife is saying, yeah. "All right, I, I had my fun with but you. I still you Jimmy, Jimmy, now Jimmy, I'm going. let's be honest. Bear has no hope, but at least George Kennedy has a little hope through his son bringing home some broads. I totally see George <laughs> Kennedy in a Lambo, you know, after the divorce, he'll get the yeah, Lambo. Shit, I'm telling you, they see the same thing. They don't see. Yeah. They stay feel for Bear. You don't feel. Hey, uh, George Kennedy can get I a got, girl. Hold on, His hold on. Breaking news, breaking what? news. Breaking news. Bear's wife hung up. <laughs> but but one of my favorite no. interviews I ever saw Patrice. was Patrice O'Neill uh, laying out what a donkey punch was <laughs> <laughs> on a national news show. Who was that, Gibson? Charlie Gibson show? Well, because we then had to get John, on the next day. John, is it John Gibson? Is it John? John? I was on later that night. Oh, excuse me. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> players in the media. You know they're, uh, <laughs> Ms. <laughs> Ms. Wolf. I'm not, I don't know all the players' names in the media. Ms. Wolf. Well, no, because that, that guy, he was, he was tough. I mean, yeah. he really. John Gibson was? Oh, yeah. He was hostile. Was he? Time, but at yeah. least you're you're welcome back. Uh, welcome back. Uh, the Patrice isn't allowed to go back there. Yeah, he isn't allowed to go back. And actually, uh, he had to apologize. Not not Patrice, <laughs> but uh, uh, what's Charlie? Charlie Gibson? John? John Gibson? I couldn't remember. I don't his even name know his fucking name. John. That Gibson guy. There's yeah. another Gibson that's Charlie. But he it, had to John apologize. Yeah. Why did you apologize? For what Patrice said <laughs> uh, on his show. And also shows how this type of thing could happen very easily when you're just, like, you know, going with the flow. Patrice described the angry pirate on the fucking news. Can we be honest, though, if you yeah. remember? I know it was, it was a while ago, but thanks. The lady actually started it. She goes, Patrice goes on describing how a woman gets... Doggy style. I yeah. I was trying to be clinical. It was from now. The woman was yeah, from uh, yeah, now. I tried to explain it as a, a guy ejaculates. I was being all scientific. Yeah, it's, scientific. It's coming your eye and kicking your leg. That's what the fuck it is. It's goofy. <laughs> but and that you heard the camera people laugh. Patrice spins around and goes, "And hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You know and how fucked up you have to be for the Fox News to say we're sorry for his comments. <laughs> <laughs> they interview white supremacists. Yeah. <laughs> they interview fucking Hamas. Yeah. They, they Never apologize. <laughs> it's saying Israel must end. He does a, a, a load in the eye joke, and they're ready to fucking yank him off the air. Yeah. Oh, it was so classic. I haven't been back since. Wait, it, no. it was a wrap. My Fox career is over. That horse shit. That bridge <laughs> is still burning. <laughs> that mic still doesn't work. You know. That mic still doesn't work either. Oh, that mic can't either. Oh. Now the mic might be on. I, I, I'm glad things that haven't is. changed. Welcome back. Right. Is it work? Is it work? Yeah, oh. now it works. Wait, talk. Seriously. Yeah, there it is. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. You know, that, that type of thing we expect on the Opie and Andy show, not the Opie and Anthony Opie show. Opie and Andy. Thank you for the website. Uh, welcome back. Here. Anyway, go ahead. What were you saying? Well, now? He, told, he told the lady from now, uh, someone said, well, what is Al Sharpton in charge of? He goes, nappy-headed hoes. And then she said, what? He goes, well, you're just in charge of the regular hoes. <laughs> yeah. The head lady of now. Wow. And she laughed. She's Yuppie in charge up. of the holes. Right. He, he said, why, why isn't Al Sharpton involved in this? Mm -hmm. I said, because, and, th and, 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 uh, and your thing. I said, because it doesn't concern him. It's, it's not anybody black going on. And, and, and no one counts Condoleezza as a, like a black lady. She's fucking down with the president. So I'm like, he's in charge of the nappy headed part, and you're in charge of the whole part. <laughs> oh God! Wow. She, she did not. She did not appreciate that. Oh yeah. whatever, whatever. She hated me anyway because she tried to bring that goddamn uh, that bullshit at the thing. She's just unfunny, motherfucker. Just unfucking funny. Well, that's what you you hit her with right when uh you you got on the air with her. The first thing you said is, "You are not funny." <laughs> you, he looked right at her and goes, "You know nothing about funny." People. People, let me tell you something. You can be funny and not be a funny person. Mm -hmm. Like, you could just want funny in your fucking life. Yeah. I just want to try to laugh, even though it's like, dude, you are you stink. Like, <laughs> Foss is a funny dude, but he always is bombing. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, now, why wait. would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm never, not why bombing would you plant on stage. No, wait, wait. Not bombing on stage, but like Voss is such a machine. Like we was Bobby was he was just attacking Bobby in the elevator, and I said Voss is like, it, it's those what's those the pendulum things on somebody's desk where they click clack. Yeah, yeah. the little. If he doesn't metal keep balls. just talking and trashing you, he'll just slow down and just stop. <laughs> so Voss has to just keep the momentum yeah, going. It's not funny. But he's a funny dude, man. He's just a funny dude. 
whether he's funny or not, all of us. So she don't know about even trying to fucking be funny. It's, it's everything impossible. in her life is serious. Everything is all fired. Oh, I didn't say that because we couldn't talk about it. Uh -huh. Before the show came on air, John goes, so, uh, Sonya, what do you think uh, they should do? She goes, without problem, while she's just looking at her little papers, I think they should be fired. I oh. said, this fucking asshole. Just like, <laughs> they should be fired. <clears throat> I'm like, she don't even fucking care. Where was yeah. now during the Clinton administration? Now is nothing but a, a branch of the Democratic Party. And they why have nothing. The, wait, why women the don't fuck, need. Why the fuck would. Oh, boy. Women why? don't need. No, oh, wait, wait. Oh, why would Condoleezza Rice and the president's wife need help from now?